Holy crap, chat! See, if I was really an asshole, I would actually, like, queue up Project Zomboy just to be a smartass. But I'm not going to. Oh, man. Where's all oh, my blankets over there? Oh, well. I could beat this bitch without it. All right. Yeah. Get this, because I had to have a thingy for that. Boom! All right, good. Stream Deck is working. I just wanted to make sure because there was an update. And I didn't notice it until I was going live, which made sense because they announced a bunch of shit. Like the steam stream pedal. I'm going to throw that bitch on throne. <laughs> what is up, guys? How are you doing today? I just got out of the shower. Sorry, I'm a little late. Uh, work ran a little over for me because somebody was requesting something like at 4.50 and... I needed to do my job. So, I did. Hello, Rolling. Congratulations. You got to the first slash second redemption. I gotta go update the, the thing. Yeah, I haven't even done that yet. Wall of first for the month. I just keep adding to the same one because it makes sense and then I'll just do it by month. Rolling 4851 specifically. There we go. But how are you guys doing today? Let me get down, say hi to everyone, explain what we're doing, and then we're gonna hop in and hopefully beat this bitch. Probably not first try. And by probably, I mean, yeah, there's like no way I'm gonna beat this guy first try, but I say first try. First try the stream. Glass Show, thank you for the host. D&D, &D, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. Hello, non-automaton. Welcome in. Zoe says, you saved me from being forced to learn Adobe Audition 22 from Adobe software that was made when dial-up internet was still a thing. I hate to admit it, but there's still some areas of the, uh, the US and the world that still run off of the old dial-up, but I'm glad I saved you, Zoe Fish. I'm glad I was uh, useful somehow, some way. Gundir's theme is just a little loud. There we go. Do, 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 do. First try this fish, I hope, but it's not gonna happen. I know it's not going to. Uh, I'll get into the details about what I did off stream here in just a little bit, which wasn't much except for grinding, but I'll wait until I get through the greetings so that way whenever I make the, uh, the VOD for this later for YouTube, we can just start with all the Dark Souls conversation at once. Just think, the faster you beat this boss, the quicker you can return to Project Zomboid. True. <laughs> True. Hi Scarlet, how are you doing? Perry Pontiff, I did! And bish, I can't parry, parry him again. Because uh, you can't replay bosses. Or I'd go parry him for you. Actually, just kidding. <laughs> Radar paid me $50 to parry him the first time. <laughs> that was still absolutely wild. Hey, yeah, where's, where's my other favorite ones? Ooh, Pontiff's music. There you go. I may not be able to parry Pontiff right now, but I'll give you his music. Which is super PTSD for some people who play this game. I love Pontiff's fights, and I surprisingly didn't struggle with him as bad, but it was like a fucking fate, destiny, whatever you want to call it, that the time that I actually parried him is the same run that I beat him. That's like some crazy destiny meme bullshit. <laughs> Still the best thing ever. CD Shot blinked their eyes furiously, blinded after emerging from the depths of a long stream of Project Zomboid streams, confused by the bright lights of alternative content. Holy shit, we're actually playing something other than Project Zomboid. I know some people would be thrilled. My Project Zomboid people are like, no! There's still a lot of people up. I love that. I don't know if I'm going to play Project Zomboid after this if I do end up beating him. Um, I mean, the last time I streamed this, I thought I was going to beat him, and then I never did, so, you know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna go into it with positive attitude, beat this guy's ass. That's the game plan. What's up, T-Max? How are you doing? Glass Joe, welcome in. Electric Man, how are you doing today? You responsibilities, I know, I know. Wait, it says what, Rawling? Sorry, I don't even know what I said at this point. Yep, taking a little break of the hunting of gnomes. However, I actually found a gnome yesterday. I was fucking around on uh, Project Zomboid last night, just going down some random roads that I'd never been down. And I actually found 
<laughs> house with a gnome. I was like, son of a bitch, of course I find it off stream. So we now have four gnomes and like 10 flamingos or some shit. I don't know. So it's great. Sounds good, Nanatomaton. Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate it. Have a good night. 4851. Oh, gotcha. I mean, it's very common thing in the U.S., especially when you're learning telephone numbers, that like if you say the first three digits, three, two, one, and then the next digit, 4851, for example, uh, that's just the mind remembers patterns of numbers better. So I always repeat it that way. So, yeah, psychologically speaking, consumer behaviorism and shit points out that re we remember numbers better when we say them in patterns. So. I guess it makes sense that we would both do that. Especially because we read numbers on people's names all the time. Hi kid, how are you doing? It's from Altered Carbon. I feel like I've heard of that, but I actually have no idea what it is. Nice electric band, I hope class went well for you. Oh, good old pontiff. All right, guys. Well, that was a quick catch up on chat. So, uh, welcome in everyone. Hope you're doing well. D&D, &D, I think I said hi to you, but I hope you're doing great. Uh, let me tell you what's going on tonight. In the hopes that I beat the hell out of this boss. <laughs> we'll find out. God, the music is so intense right now. I'm not used to getting that far into Pontus Sullivan's fight. I usually just kill him. ha 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 ha. I guess I can't really brag about my ability to play Dark Souls 3 when Solo Cinder is absolutely kicking my ass. But oh well. There we go. It calmed down. Going to dancer's music. So, for those of you who have not been around, we have been playing an SL1 run of Dark Souls 3. And uh, the last time that I played it, I actually got into a really bad mental mindset towards the end of the stream which mostly was due to hormones but I didn't really realize that at the time I just had a really bad like mental thing like about the last 30 minutes plus of that stream and I have been fighting the last boss in the main game it's soul of cinder he's the last boss in the main game before dlcs and he's the only boss I need to beat during this SL1 run. If you don't know what an SL1 run is of Dark Souls, uh, it is, and I quote, a no leveling challenge, which means that I do not level up my health, I don't level up my stamina, I don't level up anything, to, so I can't even equip certain items. So you're very limited on what you can use. You're very limited on your ability to take hits especially late game and i was able to beat most bosses either first or second try all the way up to i think it was pontiff was the first one that uh, i didn't struggle with i think it took us like about nine ten tries on pontiff uh, aldrich was only a few i think aldrich was less than five dancer was closer to like 12 something dragon armor slayer actually took me longer than i would have thought i didn't even think about him being a hard boss but that's when one shots became a lot more prevalent <laughs> so uh yeah dragon armor slayer was pretty rough and princes actually took me two hours i don't know how many deaths but uh princes actually took a while which i was kind of surprised about it was the magic that was fucking me over uh phase two magic was really bad in that and Soul of Cinder has taken me over 200 attempts already. Uh, and I have not beat him yet. His one-shots suck. <laughs> um, I, the last time we played, I got really good at getting him to phase two. I know I can beat this bitch. <laughs> I know I can. I've just got to find the right run. Get a little good RNG in the first round. And uh, yeah. Two, over 200 attempts on uh, Soul of Cinder. Yeah, t -Vex. I don't know if you're familiar with Dark Souls 3 or SL1 runs, unfortunately. I thought I would have beat him by now, which kind of sucks, but he's hard. Fuck it. I'm just not that good at Souls games, whatever. Uh, but I am going to beat this challenge. Marks my words. I will beat this bitch. So, yeah. I will beat this bitch. Yeah, I'm glad you're here too, kid. 
I feel ya. Hi, Watery. How are you doing? I do that too. Yeah. It's actually just a consumer behavior thing. We actually had a, a whole section about numbers. Uh, when you price stuff for people, when you are trying to remember things, uh, doing them in patterns is, is really important. So, but hi, Watery. I'm sorry to hear that you've been better, D&D. I hope that whatever is plaguing you, I hope it just gets better for you. Dragon Armor Slayer music. Now that's going to give me PTSD. I was so surprised that that boss gave me a really hard time. Okay, that's just going to give me PTSD because I'm about to go fight that bitch. You know what? I'm listening to Sister Frida's music. And then I'll go ahead and start the game. Uh, the other reason why I actually haven't returned to Dark Souls 3 prior to this wasn't actually because of Project Zomboid. It was because I was waiting to get my Elite controller fixed. Because I'm not going to say that this is a reason why I struggled with Soul of Cinder, but my RB button, my main attack button, was actually failing. And I had to send it in, and uh, they actually sent me a brand new controller instead. Um, so that was another reason why I actually started or stopped playing Dark Souls 3. So hopefully that will help. <laughs> So, no, I didn't rage so hard. Uh, that was my first Elite 2 controller. It was almost two years old, and uh, the RB buttons um, are pretty much notorious to fail eventually on those controllers, especially after playing games like Assassin's Creed. Hey, I said I wasn't blaming the controller. I was just saying that was another reason why I stopped playing. So now that I have my controller fixed, hopefully that will also help. But we'll see. I don't know. Might not first try. That would be actually insane, but I highly doubt it. <laughs> uh, let me boot up the game so I can tell you guys what I did off stream because I did grind for embers. So let me go ahead and get to that real quick. Let's bring up Dark Souls. I need to make sure that my controller is actually set button wise because this is the new controller and I didn't program the buttons yet. So I actually don't know, I actually don't know if it, uh, if I need to reset them. So I might have to do that, we'll see. I'm glad you're doing well, Watery. Yeah, more excuses, definitely blame the controller. If you go back to that VOD, I guarantee you, you could probably like count the number of times where I'm like, why is the RB button not working? I was getting so pissy at it. <laughs> yeah, I think the controller had just been done in because besides playing this game, like, uh, both the Assassin's Creed used that button to attack, I'm pretty sure. I know Odyssey did. So that was fun. Give me one second. I'm bringing up the window here for you guys. This sounds quieter. The music sounds quieter for some reason. Did I turn down the music when I played? I might have. You guys will have to let me know, because I think I might have... Oh, Jesus! I just accidentally returned that to... Accidentally went back to default. <laughs> Shit, that didn't change anything else, right? Uh... I don't know if that changed anything. I think it just changed my audio back to default. Jesus Christ, that was loud. Uh, you guys will have to let me know if that's all right, because for some reason I think I turned down the audio a little bit when I was grinding because I was talking to other people, so it's probably it. Actually, now that looks loud. Maybe it was, and it was just quiet. Son of a bitch. This is what happens and I haven't played on Steamper, but I think it's this then. Okay, I think it is that. Anyway. Why, Fuzzy? Don't you send me anything, you bitch! Don't you do it! Also, hi, fuzzy babes. I just was like, don't you do it, you bitch. That's so mean. I, f I feel like I'm not sure if I know fuzzy well enough to call him a bitch. <laughs> Solistria, thank you for the praise of the sun. How are you doing today, fuzzy? How are you doing? All right, let's continue into the character, guys. Imagine voice chatting with people. Like, who the fuck would do that? Uh, goodness gracious. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck, it's not... Oh no, it's not programmed. Fuck! 
Fuck, 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 fuck. Is this one B? Okay. All right, cool. I can use the second setting. That's good. All right. New controller hype. Oh, it's so nice when I actually press the RB button and it works. All right. But anyway, I'll save that as the celebration fuzzy because I don't know if I want to see my Steam notifications now. Isn't this hat the coolest hat? Everybody calls this hat out. I'm, I'm, I like this hat. I stuck with the same thing. So for anybody that doesn't know, like I said, I've been doing the SL1 run and I got hard walled by the last boss, the last main game boss, um, the main story boss, I should say. So I offline grinded to get more things. So I got 22 embers. By the way, this fucking took like an hour <laughs> or an hour and a half. I don't even know. It took a while. So I got 22 embers, for those of you that don't know, that gives me a little bit of a health boost. But I'm only going to use that if I get him to phase two, because there's really no point in having it in phase one. So those are going to be held until phase two each time. Uh, I got enough souls to then purchase 271 of the green blossom. That increases your stamina, which is super important against this bitch too. So uh, yeah, I went ahead and grinded those two items just out of enemies, and that was it. Uh, I, of course, did not level up, but it's still soul level one, so that didn't change. However, you'll notice that my strength is at 15, and that's because I decided to try using this ring. I kept switching out this first ring and couldn't really find one that really worked with the build that I made. Uh, I changed from the life ring to the knight's ring because the knight's ring actually allows me to wield the shield effectively. And I don't know how well it'll work, but I'm hoping that'll make a difference. So we'll see. Hi, Hypo Junkie, how are you doing? I could, I could watery, <laughs> could do that. I'm glad you're doing well today, by the way. So, yep, fancy hat. Your chat's gonna love it. Fine, let me see if it's this damn stilt game, I swear to God. So I was watching Fuzzy Babes play this the other day, and um, I gifted him all F4 because I'm an asshole, and I've gifted, like, God knows how many copies of that game to people now. <laughs> so uh, Fuzzy gave me a game called Stilt Fella, which I was watching him play the other day, which is another rage-inducing platforming game, and yeah, so uh, expect that in the future. Boop! Thank you, Fuzzy Babes, for being... A lovely individual who just wants to see me suffer. I mean, I did give him Alt F4, but Alt F4 is fun. So, just saying. Thank you, Fuzzy Babes. You a lovely individual. You freaking booty. Anywho, so other than grinding for the embers and grinding for the souls for the green blossom, uh, I decided to use the knight's ring instead of the life ring because I'm going to be honest with you, it doesn't matter. If I have a tiny bit, I think it's only like five or 10% more because I get one shot in, in freaking second phase, no matter what. So it does not matter. This doesn't give me enough life to do anything. Uh, I tried using Havel's ring to see if that would increase Flynn's ring. It does not. Um, I tried a couple other ring combinations when I was uh, trying to kill the people for the embers. Uh, but finally, and it's what's funny is I don't really test this one, but I think it's going to be better regardless because it does allow me to wield the shield correctly. So we'll just see, guys. I have no idea. I might get absolutely fucking destroyed again for a while, but we're going to find out. I'm going to beat this bitch tonight. It's going to happen. I'm beating this boss, damn it, okay? So I beat Soul of Cinder God knows how many times, but on SL1, he has become a ridiculous roadblock for me. So... Other than that, nothing else changed. I didn't change my outfit at all. I didn't change my other rings at all. So still rocking Flynn's ring, uh, Chloranthi ring, and Lloyd's sword ring. So other than that, guys, I think we're ready to go. I don't know how much I remember. Uh, I'm going to run like a little bitch when he gets to the, <laughs> the fucking curved sword phase like I did last time. Because I don't like fighting his curved sword. I don't think I could ever figure that out, that moveset yet. Oh, F4 is so good, Celestrae. It's so good. 
Hi, Bo Junkie. I'm glad you're doing all right. I am doing pretty well. Um, work went fine. It was busy. Uh, this whole week is really busy for me work-wise. Uh, that's why I started a little late is because work went a little over. But other than that, doing well. I'll be even better if I kick this guy's ass. But we'll see. Uh, also, mods, there's no death command right now. So uh, don't even worry about adding them because they're not there. So, yeah. Oh, I have two Celestia. Today is my break from Zomboy, maybe. <laughs> What's up? Absolutely not. How are you doing, lady? Good to see you again. So we're staying up till 5 a.m.? Hell no, Watery. Hell no. What's up, Sniper? How are you doing? I look great. All right. Woo! It's been a while, Mr. Soul Ascender. Let's see if I even remember how to do this fight. It's literally been weeks at this point. I did not dodge fast enough. I got greedy. Nope, that's it. <laughs> well, it was not a first try, guys. Not that I was assuming it at all. Sure, that's fine, John. <laughs> To be honest, at this point, there's just no reason even counting it anymore. Watery, I will ban you. <laughs> well, no first try. If you guys were actually expecting a first try, you're crazy, because you guys already know that it's taken me 200 attempts. I don't know the killer instinct joke, bless you. Uh, I also couldn't really read it. I'm being so greedy. I just go in immediately and try to hit him. See, it's gonna take me a second. I haven't played Soul of Cinder's fight at all since, what was it, two and a half weeks ago? Well, good for you, you can keep up on your own, Glass Joe. But I don't want death counts in the chat, so don't start or I will ban them. Apparently you can, Sniper, but I have the only <laughs> I was like I don't parry I did parry pontiff because somebody paid me to do it so I'm gonna be real with you <laughs> outside that I don't parry not in souls games anyway all right god damn it he keeps doing the what well apparently I really don't remember his moveset so I actually really like Soul of Cinder's fight. I think it's really cool. But for some reason, I just can't beat him SL1. So, one moment. All right, but I am serious, guys. Don't count deaths in chat. I will actually start timing people out. <laughs> this is not a joke, so. I don't want them in chat, period. You can keep them on, you can keep track of yourself, but I do not want it in chat. Probably because I was on a hill. This boss fight is a little bit of a pain. Like, sometimes it's nice for hitboxes and sometimes it's not, so we'll just see. His moveset's not been good so far. What's up, Arm Banana? How are you doing today? Hope the rest of your stream went well the other day. I think that was like four or five days ago now. Sniper, how are you doing today? Yeah, the death counter just gets distracting because of how many times I'm gonna die to him. So in the end, I just got tired of keeping track of him because in all reality, it was too many anyway, so. I was expecting to beat him far earlier, so at this point, like, the death counter's past 400, I don't care anymore. Damn it. Don't- no, 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 no. Oh, thank you for not being a dick. <laughs> oh, backhand, oh, backhand. Dick back. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh no, it's the curved sword, yep! <laughs> the second I saw the curved sword, I'm like, nope, that's not gonna happen. I'm glad it went well, Arm Banana. This is actually my favorite Souls game, then you and I are aligned, because I love Dark Souls 3. It is honestly top five games for me. And the only reason why I will not do well to this guy is because I'm doing an SL1 run. So I've beat Soul of Cinder God knows how many times, at least, at least 12 times, 15, fuck, I don't know. I beat him a lot, <laughs> but uh, I've never beat him in an SL1 run before. So when I beat this guy, it's gonna feel freaking great when I do. But I mentioned it before, an SL1 run actually like kind of reinvigorated my love for this game even more because of the challenge. Because after a while, I'll get used to boss movesets and stuff, so... Oh shit, oh shit, yeah. Oh, I got really lucky there. Such a pain in the ass to heal against. It sucks, because I really can't... Nope, dead. Ugh. I guess I need to stop healing, cause uh, you went to curve sword again, you dick bag. I hate curve sword so much. So, pretty much, Brad. Also, hi. Oh yeah, I've played this game a ridiculous amount, Arm Banana. On PC, I think this is only my third or fourth playthrough, but on Xbox, I have a new game plus four character plus like a billion other like sets of characters that I've done. So this guy looks like he needs a hug. Yeah, maybe. I'm trying to give him a hug with my sword. Between his legs, preferably. Oh shit, I went way too soon. No. Nope. Damn. Unfortunately it's just gonna take me a little bit to get used to it again, because like I said, it's been however long two weeks, two and a half weeks since the last time I tried this, so it's gonna be a lot of running and dying for a bit. Yes, a hug between his legs with my sword, Morthy. <laughs> yeah, electric band. Wait, did you rage quit two as well or only three? Oh, for sure. Yep, in this case, I'd rather just focus on the fight. Asshole. Asshole. Nope. Fuck you! I can barely get two hits off. Okay, now I'll be able to heal. <laughs> so hard to get hits on him. Already switched? Ah, oh, you dick! No, no, no! Cast it! <laughs> okay, that's fine. I thought he was casting the orbs, now he is. God damn it. Oh, I stunned your ass, bitch! That's nice. Okay, half health right now. I don't know why I backed off of him. I shouldn't have. Ow. It's been a long time since I died to that. Got hit by that, I guess I should say. I got so greedy, I got so greedy, I got so greedy, please don't- No, you fuck! I just wanted to heal. Ah, The only one I'm really good at is the magic. The curved sword, I literally just run away from. But, that one. Ugh, it's so questionable. The greed. All right, well, that made me feel a little better. I was like, okay, we almost got to phase two again. Hi, Pegasus, how are you doing? Dark Souls 3 is my favorite Souls because it's the only one I beat. Dark Souls 3 is so good. It's so good. Ugh, the greed killer. It's fine, I've gotten greedy plenty of times on this. All right, that made me feel a little bit better about that. That's fair, Electric Man. <laughs> but Pegasus, how are you doing today? It's good to see you. How's your teeth feeling? Oh, I 
Got lucky. Stop doing the backhand, you prick. You already switched? Wait, no, fuck! You already switched? Excuse me, sir. That's some bullshit. I did not mean to kick there. <laughs> Such a prick. Oh, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. I couldn't even get away. Oh, fuck you. I was about to take the lock off off. Dude, he switched between sets so fast there. That was really shitty RNG. <laughs> he was just like, nope, I'm gonna switch and then I'm gonna cast this and then I'm gonna switch to the, the fucking curved sword, your favorite. He wasn't even like a third health. Jesus. Oh yeah, Sniper. I am so excited for Elden Ring. Like beyond excited. I have time off of work for that. I don't care if absolutely nobody shows up for those streams. I am going to play the entirety of that game and I'm going to love it. That's bad. Yeah. I wish I could cancel a move so that way I don't get destroyed because he's faster than me. I'm gonna keep eating my cookie. Oh yeah, absolutely watery. That's the thing is like, I'm gonna be streaming on day one. I know the chat's gonna be dead because there's gonna be people who are watching like the other bigger souls as streamers. And then a lot of the community here is gonna be wanting to play it themselves, but at least I'll play it and it'll be a VOD. So then some people could go back and watch how I reacted to stuff or how I beat stuff or whatever. Oh yeah, Sniper, I, I, it's completely fine. Completely fine. But that's the only reason why I'm streaming it, is so people could actually go back and watch a bot of me play it. I gotta suck on this leg. That sucks. Damn it, I was out of stamina. What was that? I was gonna say, what a tracky piece of shit. Nope, not good, not good. <clears throat> not good, Rod. What's Lost Ark? Iron Banana, I actually don't know what that is. Probably shouldn't read chat while I'm uh, running away from this bitch, but. God, I hate this phase so much. On SL1, I just can't even do damage to him, so I just stay the hell away from him. Ah, I tried to roll out and I couldn't. Oh. 
should have taken the hit there. No, it's the grab. I'm dead. Yeah. God damn it. I couldn't even get a hit on him yet. All right. So it's the first time to phase two. Damn it. Have a good lurk. Absolutely not. Thanks for being here. I also think I just ate one of my hair. Whatever. <laughs> Diablo Path of Exile style game. Oh, okay. But it's an MMO. MMO. Interesting. I hadn't heard about that. Yeah, I don't plan on playing La uh, Dying Light 2 for a while. I had no plans on playing it at launch. I have so many games that I'm excited for this year, it's actually ridiculous. There's a lot of stuff late year that's gonna be crazy, so. I'm gonna be broke as a joke this year. I mean, I've got God of War, Horizon Forbidden West. Dying Light 2 will happen at some point, but it's just not gonna happen right at I went way too soon. That's my own fault. That's, <laughs> I got so lucky. I thought he was gonna switch directions. Oh man. Fuck you, bitch. Uh, I've also got Kirby pre-ordered because honestly, the new trailer for Kirby looked dope as hell. So I was like, I want Kirby. And that comes out the same day as Tiny Tina's. Oh god, nip. <laughs> uh, that comes out the same day as Tiny Tina's. So that kind of sucks. Kirby and Tiny Tina's come out. Uh, and then you've got God of War Ragnarok. You've got uh, the Hogwarts Legacy game is a, was originally slated for this year. Breath of the Wild 2 was originally slated for this year. So we're talking some really big ass titles that I'm all like, I'm on board, dude. I am so on board. You mind switching weapons, please? Ah, uh, he just did power with it. Well, he did switch weapons. Which one? Fuck. And he has power with it on. <laughs> I should. Oh my god, one of those kills me if he has power with it. I should have realized that. Ugh, oh, fuck you. <laughs> Was it something recent, John? Because the only, I haven't seen anything on Hogwarts this, like, for a while. So, yeah. Like, originally in the trailer it said 2022, but I haven't seen anything feasible since then. Two days ago? Would you mind linking that in Discord? Because I would love to see it. Because nobody's talked about that. Thank you for the lurk, Celestray. I appreciate it. What's up, Radar? So was this the starter you went with in your Nuzlocke? Nuzlocke starts on Friday, Radar. Also, hi. Oh yeah, Arm Banana? No, my fiance plays Apex all the time. Sometimes you'll hear him. <laughs> Whenever I'm playing games, chat already knows. <laughs> they can like hear him playing. God damn, oh, that was a shit, shit-tastic thing I just did there. I am not dead, actually, cool. Thank you. That was super kind of you, Mr. Soul of Cinder. If you could give me more RNG like that, that'd be great. Yoink. I still love that move. It just is so rhythmic. It's just something great about the Dark Souls 3 bosses that are just so, I don't know, feels like a dance when you're fighting them. Except I'm just really bad. He's the leader. Oh! Ah, fuck! Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, he owned me. He owned me. Ah, uh, not yet. I kind of want to keep closer to him, though. Because if he pulls power within, then uh, I want to try to go to punish that. Oh, what? That actually hit me. Okay, maybe too close. <laughs> Shit, he just did it. Fuck you. God damn it. No, I shouldn't even fight this. Just, okay. Okay, that's fine. That's a good change. I don't know if I can get him out of power within. I actually don't know.
Okay, I'm getting slightly greedy here because I think I can stun him. There it is. I knew I could. So scared of him. Shit, no! Damn it! Uh, it's so hard to heal against that phase. There's literally only one time I can heal, and it's when he does his combo attack. So it's basically like I have to do him hitless because I cannot heal. Uh, feels bad. Anyway, hope you're doing well, Love Lobbles. Also, hi, Silverleaf. How far was his health bar? I feel like I was doing decent damage to him. All right, well, that was a better run. Hi, Ms. Mock. I'm doing pretty well. <laughs> I am doing pretty well. Uh, I'm happy, like, it's not too bad. Nice, John. Thank you for posting. I mean, I bet just like post it in the Discord, but that works too. Thank you for sending it to me. Because, yeah, I know a lot of people in our community are really excited about it, but I hadn't heard anything on it. So I'm glad that there's actually some information. But thank you for sending that to me because I'll read it later. But yeah, so there is a lot of stuff I'm looking for. This year is going to be crazy. Just absolutely ah it was too early on my part that's fair i i deserve to get punished on that no fuck you <laughs> yeah i deserve to get punished on that i feel like i smile every day Ms. mock but i'm glad you like to see me smile no i'll be smiling really big when i beat this bitch it's gonna feel great <laughs> do for q3 at the moment i figure it through do q3 or q4 for most titles this year dude e3 is gonna be wild this year i'm calling it right now we're gonna get some bombshell of shit dropping so maybe i'll take e3 off this year again i didn't last year but maybe maybe i will clap his cheeks i'm trying i'm trying silverleaf I got him to phase two a couple times already, so that makes me feel all right about kicking his ass. Oh, I read it wrong. I read it wrong. I know you're going to do it three times because you're a prick. You already changed? Ah, and you went magic. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. Damn it. great. Magic's great. It's the one I can GPS the best, but I wasn't ready for it. Oh, and I stunned you ass, bitch! Don't change it. Don't change it. Don't change it. Let me get some more DPS, please. Yes! Stay in that mode. Stay in that mode. You are a godsend right now, sir. Oh, that follow-up is done. I don't know how I lived through that. Oh, we got a second stun, bitch! Get fucking destroyed, Soul of Cinder, you cock. Sorry, I'm kind of aggressive right now, chat. Ah, I keep going for that hit, and I really shouldn't be. Because uh, if I get caught in that, I'm insta-dead. Insta-dead. Ah! I got greedy, I got greedy. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. I can't heal there either! God, you're a piece of shit for healing! 
do it again. No, you buck! Damn it! You cannot back out and heal against him. It's not possible. I need to just focus instead of trying to heal. There is literally, in this case, only one spot. One spot that I can heal against him. Only one. <laughs> so I cannot, I just have to live with it. If I get hit, then so be it. But I'm getting myself killed because I'm trying to heal. So instead, I'll just stay in and the only time I'll heal is if he goes for the three combo. Or four, or whatever the fuck that one is. I might have been able to heal when he did the lightning, maybe? No, probably not because of the way he tracks with it, so. I'm just, oh wow, it was terrible on my part. So yeah, I'm just going to only heal if he does the combo, that's it. So, she's only slightly more aggressive than usual, just slightly. What's well, an ass bitch? I don't know. <laughs> Words just kind of stream out whenever I'm playing something like this. <laughs> Ugh, but Elden Ring's gonna be so good. So fucking excited. It sucks because Horizon Forbidden West comes out a week before it. Once again, poor Horizon games gets fucking overshadowed. I've talked about this before, but when Horizon Zero Dawn came out, I was like a huge advocate for that game. I was like, guys, this is a really awesome new IP. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be wonderful. And it was, it was a great fucking game, but it got overshadowed by other stuff that launched at the time, including the Switch with Breath of the Wild. And I didn't even get to Horizon Zero Dawn until like, way later that was yeah it was a delayed roll that wasn't my, well was my fault but it didn't take my roll until i got uh unstaggered i don't know if the strength ring is actually helping here i'm not really sure -da. i Where's my maracas? Soon great timing for Horizon. Great timing for Horizon and Elden Ring! The funny thing is, uh, Neo 1 also came out in February that year. And it was funny because there was like a dry spell of right after Christmas. And people were all waiting for Horizon Zero Dawn and the new Switch to come out. And Neo came out at the beginning of February. And we couldn't keep that bitch in stock because it was like the only game and everybody was playing it at the time. So... But thank you, Real Wolf Beard, for the 23 months. And right now at tier two. Thank you so much. How are you doing today? What's up, lovely sunflower? Thank you. I like my hat. It's my defining feature. Maybe it's keeping me off balance. We'll never know. I thought that was too early. Asshole. Those follow ups you got are bitch. I shouldn't heal. I got lucky. I got lucky and then I got tagged by the game. The game's like, no, no, no there it is. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> I just think my computer would die if I had the audacity to play it. I have no idea how it runs on PC. From what I've heard, it runs relatively well. So that's good. But uh, I played it on PS4 Pro whenever I originally played Horizon Zero Dawn. It was really good. Really, 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 really good. My primal gamer rage. True, the gamer rage doesn't come out very often for me, but on occasion, on occasion. See, why couldn't you do that attack before? Oh, it was too early, and I got really lucky because of the placement on the map. I can always tell when I'm about to get hit, because the game is like... Oh. The game is like... I don't know, I can just tell. Because <laughs> I can either roll or hit too late or something. Because his attacks are just way faster than mine. It runs good on PC? That's good. In Virginia... That was weird. In Virginia now for work and uh, sitting down to dinner. Nice. Well, hope the uh, trip to Virginia goes well. I don't know why I all of a sudden got lag there. That was weird. Yeah. It was, was it stutter on the whole thing or just the game? Um, 
notice this camera. Wow, it's too high. The camera's position got changed recently and it's kind of driving me nuts. That works. The game said it, I don't know if everything did. Your PC ran to str or struggle to run it? Yeah, I mean, I played it on PS4 Pro, so yeah, I just don't know how, how it worked. I mean, everybody's setups are different too, so. Oh, fuck. Oh, whoa, the game just. Why is my game stuttering? <laughs> I was able to get out of that. That was really dangerous for me. Oh, uh, yep, I went towards it. Aha, at least that couldn't hit me. Drink? Nope. Heal. Thank God he didn't do that one move. That shouldn't hit me. He's gonna kill me! Yep. Fuck you. Camera didn't stutter, just the game. I don't know why Dark Souls 3 seems to stutter for me sometimes. I'm gonna go ahead and close out Lurks and stuff, because I had to do that last time as well. But... Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the spear dude... <sighs> Magic is obviously the best DPS. I can destroy his magic phase nowadays. His curved blade, I cannot do. Like, that's why I run away from him. But at least I found a strategy that I'm not dying to him. But his spear, his spear set is definitely, it's definitely the hardest for me now because he, I don't know, his varying attacks with the spear kind of sucks. Basically, anything he hits me with will one-shot me in the spear, the spear phase. At least the curve sword I can survive sometimes. If he hits me. Yoink! Still, like, the best move he has because it's so cool. I'll probably say that over and over again. Hi! Bad soul ascender! Bad soul ascender! Sir, I'm going to need you to stop. Almost evaded me. Ooh, I got the stun off. Stun off before he changed. That's really nice. I meant to roll there and I didn't. Whoopsies. Did you see that guy? Curved swords. I've gotten a lot of DS3 stutters. It is really weird, Scarlet, because... I never had problems with it stuttering before. I won't, but I checked my uh, I checked my settings last time, and there wasn't any issues. Like my computer wasn't running hot or anything. So I don't know why it's doing that. Because I mean, my uh, my computer should not have a problem running this, <laughs> and it never has before. So I don't know. I do not know. Hell, at this rate, my Xbox ran DS3 better. Burn, computer players. Ah, you piece of shit. <laughs> I have to go for single attacks until I can heal. Pull the lever, Kronk. Pull the lever. I was gonna say, he hadn't changed. Ah, uh, he did power within. Fuck. Already, too. Pegasus, thank you for the bits. Punch him in the dick. I'm trying. 
Thank you for the words of encouragement, Silverly. <laughs> I gotta itch my nose. But I can't take my finger off the bottom of the controller to... There. <laughs> Alright, what's he changing to? Don't tell me he changed it. Ah, you piece of shit! You fucking piece of shit! Okay. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh! <laughs> you suck! A dick! I hate that move. That is the worst move right there. The backhand one that he does. That! Heal, bitch! Thank you. Ugh. Fuck! I should do it for the hit. I did. <laughs> if he just switched to magic, dude, I had a moment. I had him over half health before he ever even switched weapons. I think his transition is really interesting to me because I used to think it was time based. Then I thought it was damage based, but we've actually seen it happen both ways. So I have no clue what actually triggers his his change to weapons. I don't know if it's random. I literally don't know because earlier we saw him switch weapons twice before I even got him a third a third of the way to health. And then there, I got him over two thirds of the, well, almost two thirds of the way, damn it, before he ever even changed to one. So I actually have no idea what causes that. Ah, I'm dead. Yeah, I know it, because I already pressed the button twice. Don't hit his dick hard enough. Wait, didn't hit his dick hard enough. I'll try harder next time. Ah. <laughs> uh. I feel decent about the runs we've already had, so I knew it wasn't going to be a walk in the park. How many embers do I have? 19. That's fine. That is fine. See, this is the reason I'm not popping the embers until I get into the next phase. You did it twice?! Oh, uh, you piece of shit. RNGesus can suck one! Mm. He doesn't usually do that move twice. On a very, very, very rare occasion, he'll do it three times. Which is a piece of shit. <laughs> what an asshole. <laughs> He's turning my embers into cinders. We're gonna do it, Silverleaf. We're- He did it again! That prick! What RNG bullshit is that? The game's like, we're taking it too easy on you, so... Here, we're gonna have him do the worst attack twice in a row real fast. The one that can one-shot you. Prick. <laughs> Absolute asshole I was gonna say I should be close to the stun oh I'm so glad he didn't do it again or follow up I'm dead fuck <laughs> damn once again that was two thirds he hadn't even switched weapons yet To keep him at that phase, as long as I'm not getting too greedy, then uh, I can take him almost all the way to the second phase. With just not even changing weapons. Then knowing my luck, he'd be like, Cursed sword! And I'd be like, fuck. Oh yeah, for sure, Celestrate. It's funny, we were talking about that last time I was playing this. It's like, how do you think he feels? <laughs> We're going up to him like every time for 200 plus tries and he's like, this person again? When the fuck will they stop trying? Uh, I got lucky, very, very lucky actually. I have to always roll that. I thought I could block it, but I cannot. I thought he was gonna cast. He did not cast. 
Okay, good. I figured I could get the sun off there. Get away from the edge, dude. Thank you. I deserve that. I was super, super, super greedy. No, you weren't supposed to cast that again. Oh, thank God I stunned him again. All right, see you later. Sorry, I can't help it. I have to hit you at least once. too soon. Okay, I was able to heal there, which was really stupid on my part, but... Oh, I got so lucky. I got so lucky. I'm not freaking out. Do the up thing. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you piece of shit. <gasps> no! No! God damn it! Damn it! Damn it! I knew it. I didn't read it right. Ugh. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. I didn't read- oh, what the hell? That was weird. I didn't read it right. He pulled up. Oh, he pulled up! Oops. Just fucked up my contact. Ugh. Okay. Dick. Ugh. We're getting close, chat. We're getting close. Ugh, you son of a bitch. I didn't read it. It's hard to read it close up. I thought he was just going to do another one of his slashes. Hi, Noodle. Hi, Llama. <laughs> ping, 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 pong, ping, ping, pong time. Ugh. So close. We're getting there. Oh, I thought it rolled. Shit. I'm dead. I'm not dead. Thank you. That was very kind of you. He's like, I'll give you a fair chance. Here you go. You uh, what? I shouldn't have gotten hit by that, though. I wonder if it's how many attacks he does. I'm dead. Yeah. That's unfortunate. We're getting closer, just not close enough. I wonder if it's the amount of attacks he does? I literally have no idea what takes them into different weapons. It really could just be RNG and I don't know that. Ugh, but when it goes into Gwen's theme, that music just hits good. Maybe it just feels like I really don't know what actually changes it. I've never understood it. Yeah, you ruined the Yo train. How dare you, Llama? I should have just rolled. I couldn't roll that time I was out of stamina. God damn. I'm actually able to tank these better because of the strength thing, though. So that's good. I should not have healed there, and I got lucky because he decided not to punish me. I got lucky there because of the way... <laughs> I was... Ah, get wrecked, bitch. Get stunned right out the gate. Feels good. Feels fucking good, man. Ah, 
I was so greedy. I was so greedy. Oh shit, he did it anyway. Oh fuck. Oh, that's not good. I don't have enough time to put the stamina on, do I? Barely. <laughs> Was totally the attack I thought he was doing last time. Fuck you and that grab, dude. Oh, you want to stop that, please? Oh, shit, you dick. Oh no. Oh fuck. Fuck. I'm so fucked. I don't know how I lived through that. No! Oh. Because I hit him twice. Ah, son of a bitch. Because I pressed the roll, but then I looked up and I was like, God damn it. Nope. I knew it. So close. Ugh. I have all the nervous energy now. Ugh. Get out the nervous energy so I can kick his ass and kill him but beat him and feel great about it. <sighs> oh, when I beat this bitch, it's gonna be like the highest fucking dopamine rush I've ever had in my life. Dr Dark Souls is like drugs, guys. It really is. It releases feelings. I get greedy just because I got you close. I have a lot of stun on you. Almost got punished for it. Oh no! No! Oh, never mind! Leave me alone, bitch! I don't care! I'm serious, Dark Souls is like a dr- I Yeah, that's fair. Leave me alone, bitch. Uh oh. Now he used power within, didn't he? Yep, fuck, 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 fuck. Turn to magic, please. That's not quite what I said, electric bad. However, I'm, it's not wrong. Oh fuck, I thought I could run underneath it, but I couldn't. Taking a little quotey and liberty there. <laughs> Please don't get me. Thank you. Oh no. He's so close to a stun, I know he is. I got greedy. That's fair. Why are you running? Why are you running? Because the cor curb sword sucks. <laughs> Ugh, this game. That's okay. We're getting so close. I know it. You will die, Soul of Thunder. You will die tonight. And I will drink. Sigra over your body. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> oh, I, w I guess I was greedy there, but I thought it's because I could get the stun off. Because if I got the stun, then it would have removed the magic. So it was a calculated risk. Unfortunately, it was one that did not pay off. 
because that's the only way to get rid of that magic thing or it'll last longer. Oh, that was way too early of a roll. I'm surprised he didn't punish me there. Wait a minute, need to get my stamina back. This boss fight is a lot about stamina management. That one's still in reach chat, guys. <laughs> Do we need to go over the rules again? Ah. I will beat you to chess. Did George end up streaming or did he take the night off? Because I don't think I saw him go live or did he? He did not. Okay. I didn't see him post an announcement, so. Unless he just wrote it in general or something. Oh, that's good. I know he said he was kind of feeling eh, so. Good to take a night off. Rules are meant to be made to be broken. Oh, they're broken all the time. Oh, he tweeted. You think I use Twitter? He hasn't been doing the fun move for a while. Ouch. That's really bad. My I'm dead. Yep. I already knew it. Hi, Pachuca! It's the hill climbs I love. <laughs> Gives us a moment to reflect. Guinea bears! I don't remember this part of the map in Project Zomboid. I just gotta beat this bitch and then I can go back to Project Zomboid. No, honestly, if I did beat him, I kinda wanted to try a serious this fight. Skinny Bees, thank you so much for the 13 month three sub. How are you doing today? Thank you so much. And Pachuca, how are you doing today as well? How is your wed nest day going, Guinea Bees? God damn it. Some of these rolls I'm getting a little lax on. He did the move again! I was just talking about how he hadn't done that in a while. But it's... Oh, he did a... Fuck, he did a three set. He's gonna do another three set. Why do you keep doing three sets all of a sudden? You dick! Oh no. Oh, thank god. <laughs> One time I wasn't upset that he uh, changed the curve sword. He actually gave me a chance to not die. The stars aligned and I got some homework done. I'm glad, guinea bees. This is the one time I can actually kind of read chat. Because I just run away from this bitch. He hasn't done power within yet. Or has he? I can't tell. No, he hasn't. God damn it, why did you have to go to this one? No. To be honest with you, I don't know that I've fuck, made it past this. That's bullshit. I wasn't even up yet. Iframes game? Anytime he goes to the from the sword to the spear, I don't think I've ever gotten him past that phase. I'm just kind of shitty. I hate my replacement and I think he's wrong with for the job, but I'm only saying this, Ms. Mock. Why do you care if you're not in that department anymore? I know it's more of a matter of that sucks kind of thing, but if he's not in your department or anything, he's not affecting you, then, uh, so be it. Because you work in a completely different department now, right? I know, I know. I'm just saying. I know you like to, to worry about other, other things and whatnot, but... That kind of stuff you can't control. That's the stuff you gotta let go. Because it's out of your hands. And it'll just keep annoying you to the point of, you know, annoying. So. I thought it was. Yep, I'm dead now. 
but it's the principle. Yeah, but you can't control the principle in this case. Damn, yeah, that is hot and humid, guinea bees. I'm used to that kind of weather. Oh, so you're one of those. <laughs> yep, once once you left that apartment, if he's, if he's wrong, then they will uh, replace them. So. How do your hands, like, sand? It's hot and coarse. It gets everywhere. That's how I feel whenever I come back from the beach in Florida. Like, I love the beach, but then, like, I come back home and I'm like, Ugh, I've got sand everywhere. Sand in the shower. Ah, oh, fuck. I missed. I am. Can you please do the other attack, please? I'm not healing. I'm literally one health. Damn it. <laughs> I ran out of stamina. I know I didn't do as much, but oh well. <laughs> that was so anticlimactic. Nice, guinea bees. I'm glad to hear that you found a job and that you're enjoying it. Okay, now I feel better. I don't feel like the, the lady really gave you the ug that you wanted there, but... <laughs> Ms. Mock, thank you for the bits. <laughs> Oh, now you're gonna do that move, but I don't have to heal you, prick. What? That was such an awkward spot that he hit me in. Thank you. I lived through that and I shouldn't have healed there. I don't know why I did actually. It's out of stamina again. Damn. <sighs> My stamina management has not been the greatest when I get to that phase. Hi, Granny Bibbles! Thank you! I like my hat. My mask is a little weird and fucked up, but my hat's dope as hell. I don't think I have any cooler hats than this, I'm gonna be honest with you. I do love this one. I use this one a lot when I play. But, like, I don't know, there's just something about the big hat. That one's a small hat, that one's boring. I do have a crown. Looks like shit though. Uh, ooh, this one. That just looks creepy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that looks so awkward. Perfect. Can I still fast roll? Eh, it probably fucks with my Flynn's ring. Should go on your night all the way. That looks ugly. Think we just stick with the big ass hat? We made it all the way through this game while using it, so we're just gonna keep it. Figured I would take a look and see what else I had. Hope you're doing well, Genny. Or Kenny. <laughs> a freak Genny's thing, but then. Granny, I hope you're doing well. I hope getting beast doing well already, but I already said it. Oh, that's nice, guinea bees. I'm glad to hear that. Get some uh, appreciation and recognition out the gate. Makes you feel good when people actually appreciate what you're doing. I'm not dead, but I should be dead. 
I tried to heal there and I missed it. I can heal here. Though. Oh shit! Oh, you dick! Uh, I hadn't even seen that move in so long. I forgot he had that. Fuck! Raymond doesn't know what just happened. He just fucking healed himself and it's still healing. I don't know if I stun him, if it goes away. I have no idea. He is doing power with them. Well, that is about as shitty as it gets, Chat. Especially because I don't even know if I can get back to him without him hurting me. Oh my god. Please let me stun you. <laughs> nope. God, I, I'm I'm fine with that dying. Jesus, that was like the most bullshit set of things. <laughs> Where's our G I possibly could have gotten for that fight? I wasn't greedy there. That was just literally needed to die. That RNG was stupid. <laughs> was not good. No, nah, I was dead no matter what. Because he had magic and he had the healing and he had power within. But, you piece of shit. That was great. It was not. I know my own greed, because I usually call out my own greed. Well, we had two really close attempts and now I can't get them back to stage two. Ugh. That felt good. I'm gonna have PTSD from this music. He did it twice. I hate when he does that. Literally just starts the fight and immediately does that move twice. There's nothing I can do about it because I've already went to go hit him. I really do wish there was a way to just cancel out of something like that. I call bullshit on that phrase because I literally just said that I call my own greed when I do. So I call bullshit. Hi, Sovereign Lady. How are you doing? Thank you for letting me heal because I haven't gotten a hit on you yet. Man. Well, shit. This is not a good run. Yeah. Jesus. Couldn't even get a hit on him. That was just a really bad roll. How are you doing though, Sovereign Lady? Good to see ya. Kill the first flame. At least Pachuca's getting a lot of nice uphill runs. It looks cool every time we do. Taking the awesome scenery. It goes as is perpetual. That's fair. Man, my timing on my rolls is now off for some reason. Good lord. <laughs> I can't even get a hit on him at the moment. I did get a hit on him. Just Good lord. What happened? 
I don't know what happened all of a sudden. Oopsies. All of a sudden I cannot roll properly. And then I got punished for it anyway. Oh, fuck you, game. Got the lucky heal off, then immediately lost the lucky heal. It's fine. Well, yeah, nobody wants burnt cinnamon rolls. That would just be unfortunate. I would be very upset to have burnt cinnamon rolls. Well, the good news is we still have plenty of embers. We still have plenty of grass, so. And we got him close twice. We got him almost to the name, so we're getting there. Some of these other attempts are just kind of piss poor about RNG. Piss poor in the sense that for some reason some of my rolls have all of a sudden gotten really bad on my timing. God. I dodged the other way. I just did. Why do I keep fucking that roll up now? Couldn't get out of it. That was unfortunate. It is considered. Oh, whoops. It is considered an uphill battle. I forgot to put that back up. Always an uphill battle. Interesting the fire shrine doesn't isn't curved inward. Wonder why not. Alright, bitch. I keep fucking that roll up for some reason now. Okay, was that a stamina there? Also got lucky there. Oh god. I don't want anything to do with you, sir. And he used power with it at the same time, you dick! Oh lord, he coming. <laughs> I love that I can actually, wait, what? Oh, you prick. Oh, I hate you right now. Oh, I hate you even more, I'm dead. <laughs> God damn it. He switched so fast off of that, and he had power within and the magic. Whenever he, like, stacks those buffs, it's basically over for me. I can't outlive all of it as much as I want to. I cannot. Game, can you give me some good RNG again and just immediately go into magic and stop going to curved sword? Or the other one? Please? Please? Come on, this is the run. Go into magic immediately, please. Yeah. 
Yes, okay. Oh, that still hit me, piece of shit. I tried to roll and I was out of stamina. I'm too- I rolled too early. I knew it as soon as I did it. I'm trying to stab him in the butt. Yes, please do, Watery. No, that was actually good RNG and I still couldn't get him. I knew it the second I rolled, because that one is the move that tracks really hard, so... You have to wait until the last second. Well, actually, you don't wait until the very last second, because if you wait until the last second, he still hits you. That one is very specifically timed. So now the game's like, hey, we gave you your magic round, so now expect, like, five more rounds of bullshit. <laughs> uh, that was bad. That was super fast. Well, it put me in magic again, but that was quick. It was a very fast round. Come on, I should be able to stun him. Like I should be able to stun him. There it is. You dick. <laughs> You're so close. Ah. Shouldn't even try, but I always want to. 267 points out the gate, it's not a bad thing. And I hate the fact that you grab. I did it too soon! Dead. Oh, your grab. Uh, kind of sucks, because if I'd have rolled down hill, he probably wouldn't even have gotten it. Yeah, he stabs me in the butt more often than I stab him in the butt. <laughs> yeah, if he gets... God, his last phase. It's Gwyn's moveset, and I should, like, not even have too many problems with it, but... You get grabbed, you're dead. You get hit. I don't think I can survive a single attack of his second phase. Ugh. It's alright. We're still getting to the second phase. I will beat him tonight. I will tank my entire channel's numbers to beat this bitch. Got lucky. When 
too early on that attack again. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I should have just ran. There's a reason why I don't go against the perv sword. Because I can't do it. He always just kills me. You just bite of my cookie and make myself feel better. Not the camera seems too. I don't know what's going on with this. Hmm. I think one day I like pushed against my desk and my camera just got all off. R.I.P. indeed. Rest in peace until I go up here and try it again for the... Who knows how many times now. Probably close to 300. Probably pretty close. Really fucked that up. Thank God for the short runbacks. You did too? God, I hate when he does two of that move. It's so rare for him to do it, and that's one of the times that I can usually punish for two hits, which is why I almost always die to that. Because it's one of his biggest openings after he does one, but you have to commit right then to be able to get both hits off before you have to roll for the next one. But like the times that he does too, it's an insta-death because I'm already in the animation of the second hit before, like, when he hits me. Ugh, you dick. What are you- did you talk to John Dark Soul? Did you get good RNG for me, please? I mean, technically speaking, I had two magic runs back to back, so... It's my own fault for not capitalizing on them. I would have been fine. Oh, Chad, I know, I know, I know, I know. Stunned, I couldn't do anything. I'm dead. Yep. Fuck that phase, dude. Fuck that phase. Should be good in the next two tries. Okay, the one after that, right? <laughs> you have far more patience than I ever would play in this game. I can't tell you what drives that patience, Electric Man. I think that's just part of my nature, of who I am, of my competitive nature with myself that says failure is not an option or in this case i will fail 300 times but eventually i will succeed that one time and that one time no matter if it's one out of 300 500 or a thousand that one time is all it takes 
for me to beat this game on SL1 when people can't even beat the regular game. And that motivates the shit out of me. So, plus I just love this game, so. <laughs> ah, I rolled too soon. But I don't know what it is. Doesn't matter how many tries, I will beat this game. I will beat an SL1 run. And damn it, I will feel hella good when I do. It will be a feeling unlike like anything else. And hell, it'll feel even better that I've done it after so many tries, because that means I just persevered. And so many other people would have quit. I did not mean to heal there. Yeah, that's fair. See, why won't you switch to something else, you dick? You're on this one forever. I did ask him to switch, you know? That's on me. <laughs> oh, 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 I got lucky. I thought he was doing power within. Do power within, I fucking dare you. That's not power within, you dick. Switch or do power within. I will punish the fuck out of you if you do. Oh, you're going for it, you piece of shit. I did ask him to do it. <laughs> I did ask him. Fuck. No, that's not good. I might be dead here. Close the distance. Why aren't you stunning? I was greedy there because I figured the stun would happen. He didn't stun at all. I wonder if it's because of the power within? I could not get him to stun. <laughs> oh well. Indeed, Dark Souls just like any other game, just like any other facet of life, practice makes perfect. Like, I'm going to keep practicing this until I get it done correctly. And eventually, it's gonna happen. And god damn, I will feel wonderful. I appreciate the spirits. <laughs> it means I won't stop until I, I want to be the very best. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Watery, your contact was wrong. That's okay. Also, I started singing a song that we need to be singing on Friday, not today. <laughs> okay, Llama, well, take your time. Watch, see, all it took was Llama left, and now I'm going to beat it. He said there may be a delay since he's from Japan. Ugh, fine, goddamn delays, man. Better not be like an eight hour, or like 13, 14 hour delay. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Greedy. I knew the second I did it. Thank you for being nice and not punishing me because I definitely deserve to be punished right there. Dead. Yep. It's about what? One hour?! Uh, I think it's 14 or 15, Scarlet. It's on a boat. It'll take a month or more if I'm lucky. 15. Haha, -ha, it's close. Depends on what part of Japan, I believe. Because I think, uh, 
Um, Okinawa's 14. I think. That's right. I almost beat him without good RNG blessing. I can beat him without RNG blessing. Although it'd be nice to have. <laughs> Piece of shit. I didn't think that was the move he was going to do. Yeah. God, I hate that move so much. What? And I hate that move because it tracks like a bitch. That is literally the reason why his spear one is so bad, or his lance, or whatever you want to call it, is because the tracking is so bad. Bring. Shred stick! 72. Thank you for the follow during my time of miserable failure to Soul Sunder. We may be here for a bit still, my friend. I have been fighting this guy for a long time. But god damn it, I will beat him. Where is all your health? <laughs> Somebody want to praise the uh, SL1 run for our new friend real fast? <laughs> Uh, SL ones, uh, ah, silver. I said spirit for some reason. Are you serious? You already? I mean, I'm happy you went into magic, but the fuck? That was a quick phase change. Damn it! You would cast those right after I fucking already stunned you once, you dick. Come on, crystals. Thank you. Ah, I couldn't get out of it. I got really lucky that I didn't die there. And now I died. <laughs> <sighs> Good question, Shredstick. This is what we call an SL1 run of Dark Souls, which means that we do not level. So I am currently and have been through the entirety of the main game at level one. Which would normally mean that I'm 10 across the board. The only reason why I have 15 in strength is because I, uh, I put on a ring that added 5 strength. But other than that, I am completely playing with the bare bones. Yes, it's a let's make Dark Souls harder. <laughs> and for some people, they're going to be like, you're fucking stupid. And I get that. Um, I've played and beat the game over 12 times at this point. But an SL1 run strictly just makes the game harder. And I love this game. It's one of my favorites. And to be honest with you, like, it's fun. I don't care how many times I play it. But there is something different about beating bosses on level one. <laughs> like, suddenly I got that experience again. What do you mean easy mode Dark Souls? Uh, I got that, like, feeling again. That was, like, the same feeling you get when you first beat a boss in this game. I'm getting that feeling again all over. Because they're hard again. They're really, really hard again. And unfortunately, Solo Cinder has walled the fuck out of me. Uh, I have beat all the other bosses except for... I haven't tried, really, Osiris and uh, Gundir. I didn't go up that path. But I do want to go back and fight them as well. I'm not going to say I'm going to go try Nameless King because uh, I think he'd just fucking destroy me. But yeah, it's the accomplishment feeling. It's the sense of dopamine when you actually beat a boss again because you're actually like, I don't know, it builds up again. It's something completely, it's what you get when you first play the game. And I feel it again. So Scarlet, I already told you, I would totally play Gale SL1 100%. 
if I thought I could get past the demon princes, but I don't think I can actually get past the demon princes on L cell one. I just don't think I can. Frankly, we can't get her to be quiet about Elden Ring. <laughs> a cell's not wrong. Hi, a cell. But yes, I am extremely excited for Elden Ring Shredstick. I actually took five days off of work for that game. Well, I guess technically only three days because my weekend's normally off, but. All good, absolutely not. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you have a great rest of your night. But yeah. Excuses? No, Demon Princes would literally put me in the ground. You're asking me to do an SL1 against two bosses at once? I would rather fight Frida. I would rather fight Frida. I think I could deal with Frida and her freaking and her father. I don't know if I'd be able to beat Frida. It would take a long time to beat her. If I'm taking this long to beat Soul Ascender, uh, I think Frida would absolutely destroy me. But like first phase, easy clap. I never at like at one point I didn't even have to heal. Uh, in her second phase, that's like a hit or miss, touch and go. Like I think I could be okay, but it might be pretty rough. Her third phase would just put me in the ground. Frida is still hard to me. Even after all this time. Okay, I don't know how I didn't block that one. I thought my shield was up. Alright, I'm getting too distracted by chat. Now I'm just making a lot of mistakes. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna focus back up here in a second. But yes, I'm extremely excited for it, Shredstick. I'm gonna play it on day one. I don't care if only one person in here watches it. I am going to play Elden Ring day one. Pretty much the first second I can. I don't want to know anything. I don't want spoilers. I don't want... I've watched the two trailers that came out and that's it. I didn't watch people do the stress test. I didn't even want to know information about the stress test. So, if I'd have been in it, I would have not been... I would have been fine. <laughs> Hi, fi Jesus. How are you doing? Man. It's been a little bit since we've been to the second phase. Shouldn't have hit twice. Got really lucky because of where I was standing. God, he's gonna get all of his health back. He's literally gonna get all of his health back. Because I can't do damage during this phase. If he'd have went magic, it would have been fine. Because then I could have just DPSed him. But he's gonna get all of his health back. Hi, real magic cookie. We're back at it. Once again, we've been already on it for another hour and a half. We've actually gotten really close twice, real magic cookie. We had him almost to his name in second phase, so... I thought I was out of that. But yep, here we are again, magic cookie. What? Are you... Okay. You went back to fucking sword, really? Yeah, it was really close twice. We we literally had him to the edge of his name. Two rounds. That was a disgusting transition. He went power within, which sorry, I keep using that term, but if you don't know, power within it up, like upgrades your attacks. So he hits harder <laughs> and it lasts X amount of time. I don't know, probably like two, three minutes. 
probably two minutes. And uh, he went from that, switched to magic, got his little orbs around him, and then switched back to the fucking curved sword. That was <laughs> just about as disgusting as you could get. But anyway, hi, Real Magic Cookie. How are you doing? Ugh. So we've been close tonight twice already. Now I'm struggling to get back to his second phase. Ugh. Some of these runs, it's completely my fault. Some of these runs are just really bad, aren't she? Uh, but we'll get him. We will get him. Oh, my this close. Fried cheese, I'm glad you're doing well. I am doing well, even if it seems like I'm just hitting my head against a wall over and over again. I'm still doing well. We still have embers. We still have our green blossom. Even if the RNG sucks. Damn it. I keep getting out of his range, too. I'm cautious, only doing one hit at a time right now. Tick. Nope, dead. I was cautious that entire time, and then he just gets a really good set on me. Been watching old home videos uh, we dug up from the wife. Had a lot of fun. Had to dig up the VCR. See, I don't even have a VCR anymore. We were talking about that the other day because I was playing Project Zomboid so much. And it has VHSs. And I'm like, I wonder how many people are playing Project Zomboid and doesn't even know what a VHS is. <laughs> or a VCR. But it's... Uh, my brother, once upon a time, before like our home tapes got too bad, he converted them over to DVDs. So we actually have DVDs of like... Our Christmas 1998 through Christmas 1997 or something. 98, no. Yeah, Christmas 98. We have a summer 95 video. That one's always fun to watch because it's like we're playing Super Nintendo. <laughs> Great. Wait, what? I say, bitch. I pressed the X button. Don't act like I didn't. Ah. What? I pressed roll! Fuck you, game! Damn it. That should have been a good one. But that's fun. Old home videos, man. I should watch those again sometime soon. Usually I watch the Christmas ones whenever it's around Christmas time every year. Jim Carrey's Liar Liar Spider-Man all the time for years. I remember like some of the Nickelodeon ones even had like uh, orange, orange VHSs. Those were always cool. Well, unfortunately I just screwed that round, which sucks. It was my own fault. I thought I rolled and I did not, which really sucks because that went right into magic. Go me. I wasted the one magic round I got. He didn't do a lunge there. Ah, I wish I didn't waste the magic round. Be kind, rewind. It was on all the blockbuster movies. It had a little, what, gold sticker or something on a thing. At least that's what I remembered. He's doing power with them. If he goes to magic after this, that's fine. Did he go magic? Yes, he did. Fuck. I was hoping he would... Oh, no! Yeah. I was dodging the orbs, and then he did that attack. If I can get him stunned, we'll be fine. Ugh, that works, too, actually. Why can't I... What the 
fuck, dude? I can't get him stunned. I don't know if it's power within keeps him from getting stunned as bad. Like, I'm starting to think that does have some effect on that. Because for whatever reason, when he has power within, it feels like I can't get him stun locked. I don't know. Yeah, he killed me. <laughs> mm hmm. Oh, the classic VHS tapes. Gosh dang it. Oh, I did that way too early. Whatever. Too late now. I'm not stunning enough. Story of my life. my nose again. Ah, fuck. You decided to follow that one up, didn't you? trying to hit him. No, you son of a bitch. I hate you so much. I hate you so much. She's gonna heal all the stuff that I just did to him. So go to magic after this, right? Surely he wouldn't go back to... I can't tell. He is. Haha, <laughs> you did that first, you dick bag. I did go to magic. He's still healing them. Too soon, I could cry. I could cry, I went too soon. That is the first time I think I've ever ran back into that. Yes, Team X. Yes, we are. Unfortunately. Ugh. Yeah, unfortunately. That move right there. That move. Ah. I'm used to timing it right. It's because you can run in pretty quickly and get about two, possibly three hits on him. Which is why I started running forward. But I guess I just timed it a little off. Damn it! That's all right. Sorry, T Max. More than likely, we will be right here for most of the nights. That's okay. At least it's okay to me. I know it's probably not okay for you guys and people who are like, "Oh, content creator, we're just on the same boss the entire time." But I'm actually still having fun. I know that sounds weird, but Soul Center is a really good fight. I just
just sucks RNG wise <laughs> sometimes. Maybe one of you guys are having fun out there. <laughs> cool. <sighs> Soul of Cinder, you asshole. Just let me get to phase two quicker. I can tell by the amount of embers I've had that I've gotten him to phase two twice. And we know for a fact that two of those times went really well. I did too late. going for multiple hits very often unless it's just like one that I know for a fact I can get it off just because he keeps seeming to get me. Unfortunately I've already stunned him so I don't know if I can stun him again in this phase. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna try but That time was a little too late. Oh, I went too soon on that. I got lucky he didn't push that. Woo, that was also luck. Heal. follow up with you there. Nope. I knew it. I tried to heal instead of went for him. Ugh. I get too scared on the healing, which I guess I can tank one of his normal hits, but I can't tank two. And that's when I get scared instead of just... Because there really is few opportunities to heal. I actually healed more there than I should have because he just didn't follow up with a punishment. So the only times I can heal is when he goes into the multi-hit. And I think I can heal in his lightning. But it's kind of sketchy. That was a nice first phase, but... Ugh. I'm not getting enough chances at his second phase, it seems like. Like, I'm not able to really get used to his second phase because I'm not getting there consistently. I mean, I've gotten there several times, but just not like consistency, so I can't really figure stuff out. I need to just go play DS1 and play Gwyn for a couple times. The funny thing is, like, I know I've fought Soul of Cinder so many times in Dark Souls 3, but Gwyn in 1, I actually only fought twice, because I second tracked him. Okay, he's on magic. I went too soon because I was afraid of the other stuff hitting me, and I got stun locked. Oh, in the magic phase. Bad. I should never die to the magic phase. Like, actually, should never die in the magic phase. Ugh. Yeah, every time it's a, this is it, and then it's not. <laughs> That's okay. 
it'll be one of those times where it's like, this is it, and then it'll actually be it. Till then, it's okay. Oops. I was reading Glass Joe's thing. Thanks, Glass Joe. I'm counting that death for you. Assuming you were there in season, would you want to be stuck in an outdoor stadium, football, soccer, baseball, or arena, hockey, basketball for a 30-day period? You can only go to the gates of the stadium and the front door of the arena. Huh? I mean, I would definitely want to be stuck in an arena because I don't know what season it is, but if you're in a season for football, you either get roasted and toasted or freezing cold. An arena is at least climate controlled. Yeah, if you want to elaborate on a cells question, that'd be great. But yeah, I would say in that case, like I like football the best out of those. Speaking American football, but... God, I wouldn't want to be there for 30 days. <laughs> Would the food stands provide me sustenance? Sustenance? Sustenance. Yeah, I would have to say arena because, yeah, literally. There's certain football games that I went to that I, like, baked alive, and then there's others that I froze to death. I would rather go to a football game when it's a little bit chillier, though, because it just seems right. It's like football weather. I've gotten some very fun football games multiple times. I meant to roll and it didn't take. I might have been out of stamina, I don't know. Tried to roll. Soul of Cinder, I think we got off on the wrong foot. You see, I'm the one that's supposed to continue lighting the flame. You're actually just kind of making my job harder. I know you're supposed to be like the final test and all, but. I already killed all the other lords, so I don't know quite why I have to beat you two. At this point, if there was an option of like being able to beat the game easier by not beating him, I would never have taken that. All of a sudden, the uh, magic is killing me. Couldn't tell you why. Wow, now I can't even get through the magic. Take your time. Ugh. Good evening, PJs. How are you doing? Ugh. You basically get free tickets in a box to yourself. Now, if we're talking box, that's different. Like, the suite that I stayed in when I went to the Green Bay Packers game was fucking wonderful. So. I think I would pass on the concerts, though. I would just play video games on the giant-ass screen in their arenas. because I rolled too soon. What's up, Sky Shadow? Yeah, we're back at it again. Not like it's going much better than it was last time, but we, uh, I'm not giving up on it, so. 
I will drive my channel into the ground to beat this boss. But I will. Okay, I almost had a stroke read in the first part of that PJ, so let's try to decipher it. Uh, you had two cancellations in December of concerts? I did not mean it. Ah, oh my god. I've done that a couple times. Whoops. Well, hope I uh, make it to the second stage. I just fucking embered. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Whoops. That was annoying. Can't believe I just did that. What? Whoops. Well, never mind. Pick a fictional character to exist in real life and they're your best friend. This sounds like a cop out, but I'd actually just stick with my own best friend lottery. I mean, don't get me wrong, there'd be a lot of cool fictional people to bring to real life, but I, I think I'll just stick with my best friend. I don't know. I feel like there's probably too many good choices. I would forget somebody. Heck, that second best friend. I don't know. I can tell you one person it wouldn't be. Soul of Cinder. <laughs> Be Sigmire. Sigvid. Sigvid of Katarina. You'd be my onion bro, and we'd drink together and be merry and go on adventures. Sounds like it's personal this time. Yeah, Sky Shadow. Well, my controller's working again, so that's nice. But I'm still getting absolutely bodied by him. Which I'm not blaming all of my attempts on the controller last time, but at least it's nice to actually have the RB button function when I want it to. <laughs> We've actually gotten really close, Sky Shadow, and anybody else that's just popping in. Unfortunately, I have zero consistency in this game, at least this boss fight, because we did get super close to him. We almost got to the word Cinder twice in the second phase, so. We've been to the second stage, I don't know how many times at this point, but for some reason I am uh, just fucking up. Yoshi is a cop-out answer too, but I'd judge you harshly. No, I wouldn't have Yoshi. Whatever character it would be, it'd have to be like, if they were my best friend, I want it to be somebody with superpowers so they can like, I need it to be somebody who can teleport me. Because that would be really sick. So yeah, just, um, I don't know. Whoever can teleport me. Pff, that's literally my answer. If they're my second best friend and they can teleport me anywhere in the world. Could you imagine the vacations and stuff? That'd be sick. So in this case, I'm not even picking for personality. I'm picking for usability. It sounds terrible, but if it's going to be any fictional character, then bring on something cool like that. Flying would be cool, but really teleportation would be the best because then I could just teleport anywhere that I wanted in the world. I could go meet you guys. I could go on vacation in the blink of an eye. That's such bullshit. For some reason, the magic keeps killing me now. That's very unfortunate. That's also bullshit. What is that tracking? Okay, whatever. Sure, Alakazam. Then I could have a Pokemon and kick people's ass. But also teleport. I'd go with that. Friends with Doctor Strange? He's got too much shit going on. <laughs> I need somebody to be able to teleport me like... You know, whenever I'd want. So yeah, I'd actually, I'd say a Kalakazam is a really good one. I'd have my own Pokemon that could fight battles for me and protect me if I go anywhere. But then also use the ability to teleport. Assuming that it could teleport me anywhere in the world. So yeah, you guys are probably like, I'd have some really cool person be my best friend. And I'm over here like, I'm going to use them for their abilities. 
Because I already have an amazing best friend. I guess they'd actually have to be like my third best friend. Because Brian's my best friend, Adam's my best friend slash lover. And then it'd just be like that, whoever the hell that would be. Or creature, I guess. Hello, Sifu. How are you doing today? Unfortunately, I wish I could say it's going well. I'm doing well. My uh, gameplay in this game, not so much. Solo Cinder is currently kicking my freaking ass like he has been. Unfortunately, it has just been uh, rough going on Solo Cinder. I am dead. I don't know how I survived, but sure. Now I'm dead. I wonder if I can run from this phase too. It's probably not wise. But I might try it anyway. But to be honest with you, Sifu, I uh, have been getting my ass kicked by Soul Center for a while now. But for the record, I am doing SL1 run, so... Before anybody is like, ah, it's because she sucks, take a look at my health bar and my stamina bar. <laughs> this is kind of a cop-out trying to run away from this phase. I'm actually kind of surprised I can. I got a feeling he's just going to ram me up the butt here in a minute. In very unpleasant fashion. But... Teleportation and kicking ass. I forgot he can do healing in this phase. I'm just running away from him the whole time. There, he's doing it, you prick! Ah, fuck. Change back. That's bullshit. I was past you, dick. <sighs> God. Let's not miss the dude like 50,000 times. At least he's done healing now. I don't like having you against this edge. I was afraid of that. Shit. Surprisingly enough, I was able to run away from that one phase of his, which is kind of cool, so good to know. He can't heal in this phase. <laughs> I got killed by the magic. That's unfortunate. Anywho. What's up, our Agrando64? How are you doing? Yeah, I got super lasered by that sky shadow. It was kind of bullshit. The tracking on that was a little too much. We're not parrying Pontiff this stream, Raider. I'm sorry, I already beat him, so. Absolutely, no problem, Sifu. Yeah, sorry, this is, uh, this channel typically uh, plays first blind playthroughs of games, which basically means that they're the first time I've ever played them and I've not seen them played before, but this is an exception. We're doing a challenge run of this game and it's currently kicking my ass. Specifically the last boss. <laughs> well, he did ram me, Pachuca, just with his magic. <laughs> Take that as you will. Thank you, easy mode. I happen to really like my hat. I haven't taken the hat off, but uh, it might be a counterbalance. We'll see. Hi, Violent Jet. How are you doing today? Man. Uh, uh. It is a pretty cool cape. I'm happy with my outfit, kind of. My beautiful white gloves, my fuck, I don't even know what shoes I'm wearing. If you take that off, all right. I was looking at some of the other hats earlier and I was thinking about changing to one, but I didn't. I don't know what shoes I'm wearing, actually. I didn't pay attention to them. Violet Jet, I'm glad you're doing well. I'm doing fine other than the game is kicking my ass again, but eh, what else is new? That was 
a very fast phase change. I was gonna say, he should be close to a stun. The only bad thing is that means he could cast the magic. Cast the magic and I get this. Lovely. Maybe I'll get lucky in him. Nope, just kidding. I'm not gonna get lucky on him. Oh no! Yep. Not sure how I'm not dead. There it is. Never mind. <laughs> oh well. You're welcome, Sifu. Don't you dare change it. Don't I change my hat! Don't change my hat! Too many people are telling me not to change my hat, so guess what, bitches? I'm changing my hat. For one run, we're onion bro all the way, even though that decreases my damage by a little bit. I don't care. <laughs> wow. Riot, 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 betrayal. <sighs> I'm sure there's a mod for that, a grando, but I don't use mods. Watch, I'm gonna beat him this run as onion bro. Just you wait. Just kidding, I already got smacked once. The size of my hat's throwing me off, chat. If it had been magic, I would have laughed. God damn it, my eye keeps itching. Ugh, that sucks. I had to itch my eye, god damn. I was doing really well, but ugh. Ugh, it's like something went in my eye real quick. Damn it, that was a good run too. Ugh, my eye was just hurting really bad. <laughs> Smaller hitbox, easy clap. Guess what, I'm keeping the hat on. I'll switch back here in a second. Yeah, and helmet's awesome though. <laughs> Ugh, yeah, I don't know what just happened. Ugh. I think somebody put sand in my eyes. They're like, how dare you use the onion hat? And then they just like curse me with sand in my eye or something. Oof. It still kind of hurts, but whatever. Ugh. It's just, ow, itchy. I can't believe that didn't hit me. That did. Another Gambo for me lost? Why is that Sky Shadow? <laughs> That's what I get for going default character. Yeah! This is always my favorite. Now I got a flowy cape and a flowy hat. That is a bit much though. Ugh. Goodness gracious. I don't know what happened to my eye all of a sudden. This isn't the dancer's hat. This is the aristocrat's hat. I love that. I love this hat though. This is the hat I typically use during my playthroughs. It's one of my favorites. I forgot to use the gown. Oh, I'm so dead. <laughs> Gamba! I knew you were gonna swing back on that, you piece of shit. Wait, what? Okay, that was kind of bullshit. I swear I tapped it unless I was out of stamina. I love this hat. Well, you are going to be dead shortly. You are definitely going to be dead soon, Skysha. <laughs> I would never do that. I would probably take a shot every like 20 and you'll be in a lot better place. What's up, Fat Rabbit? How are you doing? Thank you for the raid. Welcome in, raiders. Hope you guys are doing well today. Ooh, you're playing some Bloodborne. How did that go? Where are you at in the game right now? Cheers to you, raiders. We are currently doing an SL1 run of Dark Souls 3, which means that I have not leveled up my character 
uh, even once. We can level up the weapons, but we cannot level up the character, which means I have base health, base stamina, and base resistance to attacks. So unfortunately, I am extremely squishy. I have been fucking walled by this boss for a while now. I know I can beat him, but goddamn, am I struggling with him. Oh, you're on Ludwig. Nice. I have no idea, d and That's why I didn't track deaths, because I didn't care. I do not care anymore. I would definitely say I'm over 300. Attempts to him, yes. Because we were at approximately 240 before that. So... <laughs> I was killing this playthrough until I got to this boss, Fat Rabbit. <laughs> I was killing this playthrough until we got to this boss. Ugh. But thank you so much. Fat Rabbit is a pretty awesome individual. I actually met them through uh, D. Sadie. And uh, they play a lot of Tarkov, which I don't understand at all. But I also watched them play Dark Souls 1 at one point, And they are also playing through Bloodborne. So go give them a follow. Welcome in, everybody else. My name is CD. We typically focus on first blind playthroughs of a variety of games around here. Occasionally, we do a challenge run. And this just so happens to be one of those challenge runs. So uh, sit back and uh, watch me get absolutely destroyed by Soul of Cinder if you would like. We have been on him for a long time now. That's another fast change, but he's not even... Yeah, that's so stupid. I hate the timing on that. I get so screwed over on that. Wait, what? What? Excuse me? He just went back to the original sword. Chat, I don't think I've ever seen that before. What the fuck? I don't think I've ever seen that. you for that. No. I was already hitting him. There's not enough time to get out of that. Urgh. Yeah, if, uh, if you guys are familiar with Dark Souls, then you know that that's Gwyn's moveset from Dark Souls 1. Oh, it's such bullshit. I don't even know how to get out of that quick enough. I don't think even if I'd have unlocked and ran, I would have gotten it, but... Uh, we've been pretty close tonight. <laughs> we've been to that point in the boss fight three times now. So, we were even closer on a couple other attempts, but... We're getting... getting there. We're just... Just a little off. Oh, fuck you. Now it'll probably take a couple attempts to get back to that point, but... 
But I've never seen him go back to the original sword before, ever. I didn't even know that was a possibility. I tried rolling it. Oh well. Somebody recommend using a bow? I have no idea, Sky Shadow. There's no way I would use a bow in this boss fight ever. <laughs> again! Yes. Oh yeah, it's just been again all night. We've been playing him for about two hours now. A little bit more than two hours, actually. Oh, really, Watery? I don't... Like, okay, we have attempted this boss, I can safely say, around 300 times now. That is the first time I've ever seen him go back to that sword. So, that is wild. Oh, it hasn't been 300 attempts tonight. <laughs> it's been 300 attempts on him overall. Approximately. I stopped counting because I was kind of just tired of counting. Because <laughs> I thought we would have gotten through him sooner. Unfortunately, I guess I'm just not that good at souls, so... It has not been 600 times, Sky Shadow. Heck you. Ugh. Oh, it's a super good fight, Scarlet. Like, it actually legitimately... It is such a cool fight because it's a culmination of all the things that makes lighting the bonfire important and all of the different play styles that takes to get to it. The fact that he uses pyromancy, curved sword, a lance, a magic build, poison, healing, which is miracles. He literally uses the culmination of everything else that's in the game. And I think that's just probably one of the coolest fucking aspects ever. I don't think I appreciate his boss fight as much until doing this, though. I agree. Like, maybe because I didn't ever have to fight him that many times, so I just didn't get to appreciate it. He did a double. That's unfortunate. I will always die if he does a double. Ugh. Are you sure, Fat Rabbit? You never know. If you play these games as many times as I have, eventually you get to the point of like, hmm, maybe I should make it harder. The big one was like two weeks ago. Uh, the big one of what? Pachuca, sorry, I'm not tracking. <laughs> I forget that's an alert. I haven't heard that one in a while. Hi, Lime. You're up really early in the morning. Lime, late night, Lime. Lime Sherbet, thank you for continuing your gifted sub you got from the lovely MDS Pegasus. All right, Lime's in my corner, says I got it. All right, focus up, Sierra. Stop being a bitch, beat this fucker. Psych. Oh, you got moves too, all right. I see you. The skeleton guy from 1989 Batman movie? Which one was that, Sky Shadow? Haven't heard that sound effect in a long time. Do, 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 do. Ah, you just did power with him. <laughs> can't sleep, just finished playing Room World. Cannot sleep. I'm sorry you can't sleep. That sucks. Ah, fuck. You know what? We're gonna keep running, chat. He may do the heal thing, but whatever. If he does, this is probably just a wipe of a run anyway. Because he's already got power within, and he's got power within with the fucking spear, so. Uh, there is Scarlet, I'll tell you why. And if you're going to suggest using the 
stamina one, I'm going to tell you that it doesn't have as high of a physical resistance, so if I do block a hit, he actually hurts me a lot more. So I actually chose this one for a couple of reasons. First of all, it has 100% physical damage resist, and it also has, I think it's 80% fire resist, which is key for the second phase. So yeah, I actually tried using the stamina shield at one point and uh, it actually did way worse for me. This one has a higher damage output too. So overall, this shield's just a lot better for this fight for me. You dick. Now he uses the heal. Dude, switch. Thank you. What? You are such a prick. Ah, oh, it does take his healing away. I wasn't sure if it did you, fuck. Got away from it. Fuck. Oh god, I thought I was dead. Oh, I'm so dead now, though. Please, please, god, please, please, please. <laughs> Holy, thank god. I don't know how I'm still alive in this run. <laughs> it should have been down to nine Estus Flasks. It's the most I've ever used in one of these. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Dude, yeah, I can't run away from the magic. It just doesn't work. I should have just fought him, but I didn't think I could. <laughs> I hate that. Basically, if I don't get the RNG to give me the magic out the gate, it's just hard to get through it. Sometimes the messiest runs are the winning runs, and sometimes I just get magic right up my asshole when I'm running away. I started typing that before you died. I figured. That's the problem. You can't type stuff like that. I don't remember that part, Sky Shadow. Maybe I haven't seen that band that Batman movie. I've seen it, plenty of the older ones, but... Anywho. Well, fudge a duck, chat. Fudge a duck. I will fight him. Mama ruined it. I ruined it. Fair enough. I mean, I can't take any... I can't say anybody else ruins it. I'm the one that's fighting him, so... Impressive there. This half expected to change. I was gonna say, you are on an aggressive attack pattern, dude. Hit me with that, it's gonna be absolute bullshit. And I'm dead. Yep, couldn't get away from it, didn't have the stamina. <sighs> Even when my RNG is good, I can't get him through that freaking phase now. All the mods felt concern confirmed except to sell us all his best mods. Sorry, guys. Damn. That get that compliment gets you one get out of jail free card. <laughs> Damn. Well, you guys know how to suck up to a cell now. <laughs> oh, but he spelled your name wrong. Uh oh. <laughs> oh Jesus. I gotta itch my nose again. There it is. 
I was trying not to stun him before he got the magic thing off. So then that way I could get rid of him. Because sometimes I'm stunning him too soon. A shit start. I didn't even go in for his hit either. I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> my favorite mod is my wife. She moderates my ass IRL way more than she should with the patience of a Saint Bernard. <laughs> she sounds very suffering. Uh, I'm Okay, I'm <laughs> okay. I'm gonna slowly homework as CD wins this. So what you're saying is I'm taking too long to beat it, Scarlet. That you've moved on to homework. If anybody actually knows them, then they know that's completely false. But I think it's funny, and I'm starting to figure out why. Oh yeah, people definitely think that watery. <laughs> But the more I see them interact in chat, and like now that I think, like know that people think that, I think it's hilarious. Because now I'm like, oh, I can, I can see this now. <laughs> hmm. Actually, Scarlet, it's two. Somebody else said it once. But then once I told them that wasn't a thing. Uh, they were embarrassed, so I won't out them. I'm not telling you. I keep my secrets, dear. I keep my secrets. <laughs> Thank you, Slop. Probably wasn't the same person then, but see? See? There's a bug on my monitor on the left and it's driving me nuts. Also high slot. Oh fuck, he is. he's got magic now. Ah. That's bullshit. I was gonna say, if you hit me with that, I will lose my shit. I knew he was gonna phase shift. Fuck. The magic should almost be gone, though. He's back on the lance. That magic could come up my ass. The magic's gotta be- it's not gone yet. Fuck, I am so dead. Don't you dare heal on me, you piece of shit. Don't you fucking do it. Don't you heal, I swear to God. I'm so dead. It's a miracle I'm not dead at this point. What is this attempt? Do you like to go back to the sword? He actually went back to the sword. I was kind of kidding, but okay. How the hell in all those attempts we did before, I never saw him go to the sword again, and now he's done it three times in a row. Well, not in a row, but he's done it three times tonight.
that kick is so much bullshit. Stop trying to grab me. Game, please do not lag on me now. Fuck! Ugh. Fuck. Oh, he stunned me with that one and it just killed me. Oh, it's so close every time. Sloth, I do you think you need a refresh? <laughs> ah, it's so close. It's so close. I was trying not to let it get me. I could feel the adrenaline and the and the shakes coming on. I was like, ah, oh, god damn it. Ugh. Yeah, that's the size of his PP, Dada. Come on. We grammar good. <laughs> Chat coming up. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. I feel it in my jellies. Might not be this run, but it's going to be soon. It's coming. I fucked up. I fucked up bad. Shit. Feel it in my jellies. Hi, Bev! Yep, we're back to this, but we're getting closer, Bev, believe me. Also, your husband called you a Saint Bernard earlier. I don't know if you like that or not, but damn it. I didn't think it was gonna be that one. I couldn't get away from him. God, I love the curved sword. Fuck the curved sword, Scarlet. I feel it in my jellies. I can't even remember what I got that from now. I got it from something. But Bev, I hope you're doing well. Hopefully work wasn't too bad for you. Typing is hard. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Busted. I mean, St. Bernard's are cute and they're good dogs. That's just... And they need time. <laughs> Thanks, Bev. <laughs> You know what? I just want to take a bowl, but say I appreciate you guys hanging out and watching me try this over and over again. I knew today's stream was going to be hard for a couple of reasons. First of all, because this boss is fucking hard and I struggled with him before. Second, because I knew the, the views weren't going to be very good because of Project Zomboy just like absolutely killing it on channel lately. So I appreciate you guys actually coming to watch this. I know it's not probably the most exciting thing in the world because it's literally the same boss over and over again but like it is definitely one of my favorite games so this entire stream was not going to be the greatest I knew that going into it I shall lurk until I fall asleep though now thanks watery I wish I could have beat it then not really, Busty. He just admitted what he said. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, technically, he called you a saint, dot, 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 Bernard. But uh, he said you were the moderator on his life. <laughs> I find this very exciting. Yes, Scarlet, but you also love this game, so... I don't know why I read that really wrong. I'm actually lucky he let me heal there. All right. Let's tighten it up. Ooh. I don't know how 
I got out of that. He's being very aggressive right now. Why does my nose keep itching? Why do you keep going with that? Maybe I can still knock him again. We actually got to him second phase on this one. There it is. Or no, he didn't. I think he still shit on me. God damn it, I wanted to roll out. Autobots, roll out or some shit. Alright, I'm okay with that. Means he didn't get the heal off and he switched to sword, which means he's either gonna switch to magic or he's gonna switch to uh, back to the regular sword. Which is fine with me, he just used power within. So if he switches back to regular sword, that's fine or magic. Which he switched, and he went magic. No! Fuck. I got really lucky there that I didn't get fucked over. Timmy went back to curb sword, really? Really, dude? Why'd you have to go back to curb sword? Why couldn't you go to regular sword? He's gonna say, did he cast power within again? But he did not. Now he's got magic that's gonna come up my bum hole any second now. Yep. He just cowered past power that cast power within again. Fuck this dude. Go to either staff or regular sword, you fuck. You shouldn't go back to. S I could go back to fucking Lance, actually. I like that this is how I've decided to deal with that. He went to regular. I couldn't. Oh my god, I was stun locked. The power within helped him get his stun lock. He heals during Lance, yeah. <laughs> there was one really, really bad set. I'm a Satan, I'm cuddly. I love it, Bev. Uh, there was one really bad set where he went to... What did he go to? He went to Magic, I think. Then he went to Curved Sword. So he cast Magic. He cast the Orbs. He cast Power Within. And then he switched and cast Healing after I'd already done damage in his other phases. And I'm like, you're fucking kidding me. He literally had all three buffs on at once, and I'm like, there's literal no way I'm beating him. <laughs> Which was very correct. I wasn't even able to touch him the rest of the time, and then he just killed me, so. Whee! I said I'd take my time and then I went for a double hit on that one. Curve sword! Run! This wordle is bullshit. Yeah, don't talk about spoilers though, because it's only one a day, so. No, no wordle spoilers, please. I shouldn't have been reading chat, but I was, whatever. Well, shit isn't five letters and cut out the spoiler. <laughs> Bullsy. <laughs> that's, that's not, a, you would have to put bulls. Bulls is a five letter word. That's funny. Uh, sometimes Lime, what I'll do is if I can't think of any word, like if I'm completely stumped, I'll just come up with a different word that uses five other la letters just so I can get rid of some letters and I can also get rid of, uh, also get rid of, uh, da -da -da -da. or see if I can find any other letters. Some people don't do that, but I do. And it has worked out very well for me. Ah, I've got to itch my nose again. We were gonna backscale 
Uh. Damn, that was violent. Guess that's my one get out of jail. <laughs> uh. Yeah, the double letter ones can really throw me off. Unless, like, I've already guessed several other things. Yeah, I usually just get the other ones. Twitch is getting rid of Chance. I just got word of it. I don't know. I've never had Chance, Sky Shadow. It was just in beta. There was... I only knew of, like, two or three content creators that even had it. Oh, shit. I should focus. Mmm. I mean, we never had it, so it didn't affect our channel at all. Apparently it didn't go as well as they wanted them. Mmm. Yeah, Twitch has chat chance in uh, some some chats, so like a mod could put like a chant, whatever they wanted, and then everybody could just press press that message and it would repeat that message, so. But we never had access to it. It was again in very very early beta if they are also getting rid of it and it wasn't what they wanted. I don't know. I used it in KJ shot. Didn't bother me none. They were funny, sometimes encouraging. I can see how it would get kind of annoying though if uh, if your mods were a little bit more being like buttheads or something. I can see how it would have gotten annoying that way. I was stun locked. Fuck you, game. Yeah, it's literally only like three content creators I knew that had them. Yeah, usually I feel like I can trust my mods not to be too, too spammy. Every once in a while. So that's fine. You used water instead. <laughs> uh. I know there's like one content creator that will be upset about it. I remember him complaining. I don't actually, well I say I remember, but I actually don't remember who it was. But they were jealous because somebody else had them and he didn't, or something. I didn't really care one way or the other. I knew they existed. I didn't have them, but that's not surprising for me. I never get <laughs> beta stuff, ever. You can ask my chat. I'm always like the last to get every... everything. I got animated emotes the second to last. But typically, I am the one that gets stuff like super late after everyone else. Oh, I actually know who that is now, Sky Shadow. They came in the other day. Ah, he would fucking do that. Oh, no way! I was gonna say, if you track me for that, I will throw hands. Yeah, bitch. Fuck you. I knew I could do it. Like to try to grab me a lot. Now he really likes the lightning a lot. Shit.
No! I knew it. I should have just fucking hit him. I should have just hit him. I should have just hit him. Ah! That one hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that one hurt really bad. I did not make the correct call. Because I looked at my stamina and I saw that I had almost no stamina. I looked at him and he telegraphed the move and my first instinct was try to run to get out. But I didn't see that he was one hit. Um. Ugh. Yes, it's cheating to use Google for Wordle. Absolutely. Fine, go with what Scarlet said. That's true. You could just not tell us that you use Google. And I guess I won't judge you too harshly. Radark, your philosophy is philosophy is killing me right now. This is the shower thought. I can't I can't shower today. Interesting. Hi, Twisted Dragon. How are you doing today? You've been lurking, so you got to see my absolute utter defeat a minute ago. Oh, you can't shake. I was gonna say shale's not a bad word for wordle. Cause I never choose the same word every time. I like coming up with different words. Just whatever five letter word is the first thing that comes to mind is the one that I use for it each time. Hope you're doing well, Twisted Dragon. It's good to see you. Thanks for hanging out. I'm lucky he didn't follow up on that. Damn it. Oh, wow. I don't know how I did. I have no idea how I survived that, actually. Woo! <laughs> ah, I thought he was going to phase change. He did not. Oh, now you're going to phase. Into this bullshit. Got it. Have I already staggered on this set? I don't know if I have or not. Didn't get lucky there, though. The hills kind of screwed me. This hill is kind of scaring me.
Just need keep needing a moment. I hit my finger so hard on the desk at one point. Uh Mama, I'm gonna replay that this one here. Goes out to Soul of Cinder. I'm gonna play it, replay that here in a second with the one that it, it the, the other would. <sighs> Jesus, Zanwell, thank you for the gifted subs. I promise I'll thank you a little better here in a second when I'm not. I know. I'm sorry, Lama. I removed it. That's why I'm gonna replay it. Hang on. Cheers, chat. Fucking cheers. Oh my god, it finally happened. Oh, fuck. Hang on. The the one that Llama wanted to play, I took off because I was afraid it was going to be DMCA, but real quick, I'm going to change it and then replay his bit alert because it's extremely appropriate. So hang on one second. If it's Only DM three deaths so far, right? Only three deaths, yes, definitely. Yeah. Um uh, I'm gonna re I'm gonna enable that, but I'm gonna wait like six minutes, Llama, because uh just in case it's DMCA, I don't want this to get muted. <sighs> hey, my camera got messed up again. Oh, oh my god. I literally hit my finger on the desk so hard. Ah, <laughs> uh, guys, that was, that was. believe you did a deathless run <laughs> so proud of you let's go pogs in the chat i really want to try deathless <laughs> okay it wasn't that many deaths one bit for every attempt god uh yeah sorry i don't even know how loud i screamed at that end Zanwell, thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. I really, really appreciate it. Congrats to the ice effects. Hey, we'll be hearing that on Friday and Saturday a lot. Um, congrats to the ice effect HD, Xabri, the Pegnator, Tweeter Call, Adam Bomb, Fat Rabbit, White Saber, 
Kellex, North Gaming X, and Miles Six. If you got gifted a sub from Zanwell and you're not in a hardcore lurk, please thank Zanwell. I would really appreciate it. Thank you so much for the GGs and the the congrats. Smoke them if you got them. That was incredible. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shredstick. I'm glad you got to, to witness that. For those who've watched all fucking 300 plus attempts of that boss, you gotta know that that just felt incredible and probably the proudest gaming moment of my life. <laughs> so, uh, Perseverance, man. Perseverance. Uh, we did it, easy mode. Now I gotta go play Deathless. I'm dead serious. I think Deathless would be a lot easier now that I've done this fucking SL1. Thank you, Real Magic Cookie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. The satisfaction. Hi, George. Fuck you. I missed it. Do it again. <laughs> you shouldn't even be watching this. You're going to play Dark Souls 2 and 3, aren't you? Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. Um, Where was I? Llama, thank you for the bits. I am gonna play that here in a minute, but I wanna wait just a little bit longer. Just in case it uh it does flag DMCA. I don't want them to mute my stream for six minutes, especially during this. <sighs> SL1 of Dark Souls 1, never, because I don't know that game as well as this game. And then I'd have to fucking fight Gwen's moveset again. <laughs> Pegasus, thank you for the hype bits. I appreciate it. Llama, thank you for the 666. George, thank you for the 100 bits. I still like the alert. It was a good alert, but it wasn't as good as the one I know you wanted to play. So I promise to uh, to play it, though. Thank you so much for the practically level 4 hype train. You guys, thank you so much. I, I am... Holy crap. I am on top of the world right now. <laughs> Uh, Scarlet, thank you for gifting a sub and it goes to Sadie. That's awesome. Congrats, Sadie. Pegasus, thank you for the 555. Sloth, thank you for the 100 bits. Llama, thank you for the 834 bits. And you got a new bit badge. And you got the dead emo. Are you fucking kidding me? That's hilarious. No, Moo Moo, thank you for the 100 bits. Pegasus, thank you for the 444. Lime, thank you for paying forward your gifted sub and pay giving a sub to Mucky McFly. Don't try Deathless. I actually want to. Deathless, I think, would be way easier. I know I do. I, like, a cell, I'm dead serious. I was thinking that. So, did that not push it over to the next level? Well, fuck you, Twitch. It literally says 100%. So, whatever. It's a level four in my book. Ugh. Hitless, I would never do. But Deathless, I would definitely do. Demon Princess, fuck that. Uh, I'm officially a Dark Souls challenge run streamer. Yes. DLC. Hypo, you're crazy. Carmelized Dungeon, I hope you're doing well today. Celestrea, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Also, I just remembered that you said something in chat earlier and I forgot to ask. But you said uh, that you found something in Project Zomboy. What did you find? Um, Celestrea gave five, ah, five gifted subs to Cassian. Level five. <gasps> Level five! We're in a room chat! I almost wish there was a way you could, like, set alerts for, like, when levels got completed, because that would be hilarious, and I would definitely do that. But Celestrea gifted five subs to Cassian, Turbo Todd, Stig, Nightcrow30, and Pringle Dub. Great people. That was awesome. First try. No Moo Moo, how are you doing? Thank you. Yeah, you shouldn't be watching, lady. I I know you were fighting Gwen yesterday. Shit. Like, there's so much I want to say about that, but you're not supposed to know any of that. Uh, yeah, I didn't want it to get muted just in case, Llama. Like, at least for the six minutes I need, I, I don't want it to get muted. But I will do it here in a minute because I think that alert is hilarious. Or maybe I'll play it right at the end of the stream. How's that sound, Llama? I'll do it at the end of the stream, if you don't mind. No, Moo Moo, thank you for the 100 bits. Sky Shadow, thank you for pushing us over that, that edge there. Thank you guys for the hype chain. You definitely didn't have to do that. I'm just on cloud nine right now. So what I heard is we need to start a deathless run, right? I told you guys, I've made it all the way through, like, uh, I think Smoldering Lake area. Um, 
without dying before. So I think I could actually do it if I was careful. Uh, what's up, Stig? Congrats, you got a gifted sub. Yeah, to anybody that gifted subs, thank you so much. To anybody who gave bits, thank you very much. Um, there are new alerts if you guys haven't seen the or new alerts, new uh, new emotes. I hope you enjoy them. Oh my, I'm still, wait, I'm still going down. Yes, praise the sun, chat. Praise it, fucking praise it. Oh my god. Oh my god, we did it. We fucking did it. I actually don't think Deathless would be that bad. It's so funny because somebody told me, they were like, if you play this and you do this challenge run, it's a gateway to doing more challenge runs. And here I am thinking about doing a Deathless run. <laughs> I won't start it right now, but. Oh my God, we actually did it. I mean, I knew I could do it, but God, sometimes it just felt like I was so far away from actually doing it. <sighs> Sorry, we didn't do it with the big hat either. I kind of forgot to change the hat back. That's a little anticlimactic. BL4, I don't think I would do. You're better at Bloodborne than I am. Okay, you know that people could just instantly kill me, right, Llama? <laughs> they would wait until I got to, like, the second to last boss death list and then just use points to kill me immediately. And this is how Fallout 4 got pushed back to 2023. Well, the funny thing is, and I think I mentioned this on stream before, is that I was going to do kind of like what George did was, like, a Souls month. Um, and I was going to play Sekiro again because I've only played it once and I wanted to go for a different ending. And I wanted to play Neo's DL Neo 2's DLC. And uh, I wanted to play Dark Souls 3 with crowd control. But I could also do a Dark Souls 3 uh, Deathless run as well. So I had already planned on doing that later this year. It just wasn't going to be in the first half of the year. Yeah, George totally did that. He didn't stop playing like halfway through the month or less than that. <sighs> No, Stig, I will never do a hit list. I can promise you that I do not have the patience for a hit list. I don't remember what achievement, what ending do I need? Do I have the, the regular ending already? I don't know. Well, fuck it. Yes, Link the First Flame. I was there, right, Slop? Thank you again for all the support, guys. Thank you for just being here, and thank you for continuing to watch the ridiculous amount of attempts that I did on that boss. And in the end, goddamn, I'm still just on cloud nine. Like, I feel like I could just break down and cry at any point in time. I am beyond proud of myself. And I think I deserve that. <sighs> Challenge accepted, Sky Shadow. Challenge accepted. I hope I didn't have that ending already. I did not. Nice. Okay. Because I haven't played on the PC very long. I've always played on... Uh, on... Uh, uh, pff, on Xbox. So. Thank you for the hype train, guys. I really do. Really, really do appreciate it. Do... I'm sharing mine. Wait, I didn't share mine, what the fuck? <sighs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So, so very much. Uh, Solastrea, but what did you find in Project Zomboid if you're still here? I'm sorry, I completely remember reading that earlier and then like I was in the middle of fighting and I think I forgot to ask, so I'm sorry. Do I like the most? The Dark Sigil one is really cool in concept, but I wouldn't say it's my favorite. I think the one where the firekeeper finally puts out the light is kind of the most solemn and like it to me feels like the really I can't I think it might be the actual canon ending I can't remember how they worded it but like finally ending the linking of the fires just feels really good even though I would love more Dark Souls games I know this was their last Dark Souls game yeah, that was the end, George. That's why it was so, uh, so, uh, like, I just finished the SL1. Any percent. 
I kind of want to go and um, try Osiris. And then Champagne Gun Deer, because I didn't do theirs. Which, because I didn't do theirs, I never went to uh, uh, Dragon's Peak. Which, <laughs> if we're going to talk about Soul of Cinder kicking my ass, I think, uh, I think Old Nameless would put me into the ground. Now she's moved. No, because Solastrea said something about uh, uh, about um, Project Zomboid. She said something earlier, so I wanted to make sure I got back to it. I found a 70%-ish mail van and an ambulance. Holy crap! Nice. That's legit. Well, at least you don't have to go up to uh, Louisville to get that one car. That's what I thought. So I actually like the canon ending of the ending of the flame. Because it feels right, considering this is the last one. So. Oh, you're a good solicitor. Thank you. I'm sorry I missed it earlier. Oh, really, Carmelian's Onion? I don't know. I always struggled to get him to his second phase. I felt like I was fine once I got there, but I used to get hit a lot by his, uh, by the Storm Drake. I wouldn't be opposed to trying Nameless. Like, to be able to finish the entire game SL1 would be pretty cool. Um, DLCs, I mentioned this before, I don't... I know I would struggle with Frida and I know I would struggle with Gale, but I think the hardest DLC boss for me would be Demon Princes. Because of the two. So... Is the engine at 10% Celestrea? Because I actually have a decent amount of uh, spare parts at this time. All of my vehicles are up to 100 now. I did a bunch of scavenging yesterday, and I think cars had respawned recently because I'd found quite a few. GG! Jeez, scared the shit out of me. Sloth, thank you for the GG. Right, a cell. That person did great. Look at that background design. Moody. <laughs> thank you, Moody. And the ashes are too aflame. Oh, thanks. Ugh. Uh, there's a, um, uh, Scarlet, if you're in the Discord, can you at Lime in the, uh, Wordle section, please? If you have a moment. Or a cell can or anybody. Uh, there's a little section in Discord under the games. It's a thread. And, uh, you can post your results in there. We do every day. Okay, well, that's not bad, so let's try. So, for the record, I am wearing my Dark Souls 3 shirt tonight. So, it was just meant to be. But I was gonna beat this shit. I did it, Viffy. I did it. I did it. I did it. I beat that bitch. It took a while, but I did it. Oh, all good, Lime. Did somebody at you in it? Mm -hmm. Pegasus, uh, Elden Ring was officially golden, so that means there shouldn't be any pushbacks. Is Mastermind the one with the, uh, the dots a cell? Where you go against someone or a computer and you have to like put the dots in order. Is that Mastermind? Yeah, George, but we don't talk about that piece. <laughs> Never mind. We don't talk about that. Thank you, Viffy. Yeah, you can't watch it, unfortunately, because... You can't know. You can't know. I want you to experience this game for yourself, but... No, I did get it to work, Caramelized Onion, so I actually... And I am I do want to play Cyberpunk. I actually raided Zero Gravity Theater the other day, who was playing it. And he actually really likes the game. No, whenever I played it... Uh, I did have problems that first day, but so did a lot of people. So I played it for one stream, and surprise, not surprisingly at all, it like was doing horrible on the channel, which is no surprise. Playing new games on channel is basically a death sentence for my channel, which is why Elden Ring's gonna do terrible, but whatever. Um, 
outside of the fact that it just wasn't doing well, I was like, man, if they're gonna patch it, I may as well just wait to play it. And I ended up taking a two week break from Twitch because it was during Christmas, not this past year, but the year before, and I took two weeks off of Switch. So uh, whenever I got back, I ended up not playing it again. So I do have every intention of going back and playing Cyberpunk on stream at some point. And I'll just start over from the beginning because I don't remember anything now. Cyberpunk is fine. It's a 7 out of 10 game. See, Raven really likes it. Like, I think he gives it like a 9 out of 10 or something. That's a good description to sell. If you wouldn't mind putting that in the Discord and uh, um, penning it, that'd be great. But yeah, we've been playing Wordle a lot. Thank you, Celestray. I appreciate it. Uh, da -da -da -da, begin your journey. Fuck that. Oh, wait. Begin. No. Fuck that. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that. Oh, my God, chat. Just in case. Confirmation. Level one. Never leveled. The only reason why we have 15 strength is because I'm wearing a ring that allows for 15 or for five more strengths. But there you go. Level one, officially. 523 HP, 94 stamina. <laughs> uh. <laughs> easy, easy. Fuck that. I'm not gonna say that was easy. That was hard as shit, and it was worth every second of it. It's so good. Oh, so good. That feeling. Oh my god, it's gonna make me cry. <laughs> it's gonna make me cry thinking about how fucking great it was. God damn. Just so good. That feeling, you just... Ugh. Absolutely incredible. I did say I would, like, level up using that. Oh wait. Oh wait, shit! I won't... No, because I can't wield the weapon. I just realized that. I was like, oh, I need to use these to buy my boss weapon. But then I was like, wait a second. I can't buy the boss weapon because I can't fucking use it on this character. Ashen one. And there goes 100,000 souls without leveling. That's the worst part. <laughs> Can you add channel topics for threads? What do you mean, Scarlet? Yeah, you just have to say no and then go beyond that. Sounds good, Lime. Have a good night. Thanks for being here. Thanks for rooting me on. I appreciate it. So yeah, if you decline that, then you can go to the bonfire and press begin journey too, which is your new game plus. <laughs> Did he say boss weapons? I'm not gonna lie, Llama. I fucking watched both of those parodies again like two days ago. <laughs> Did you just say boss weapons? Boss weapons! <laughs> Fucking great. All right, shots. Let's go see if I can beat Osiris. I feel like he's probably gonna be pretty hard because he's got a very sporadic attack pattern. And for, from what I remember of people talking about Osiris, they actually say he's one of the hardest for hit list because of his uh, his weird shit, so. Uh, probably Scarlet. Um, the one that I'm referring to is called Happy Souls. And it's actually a Dark Souls 2 inspired one, <laughs> but. <laughs> There's just this line in it that's... <laughs> I don't have anything with me, but if you come to my house, I've got boss weapons! Did he just say boss weapons? Boss weapons! I don't know, it's just something silly. But yeah, happy souls and then dork souls. I rewatched them the other day. Pa! Bear, are you funny. Hi, Barry. How are you doing? <sighs> Feels good to win hit, one hit things, not really actually. Have you seen Dark Souls? I think so, Caramelized Onion. If there was a parody for Dark Souls, I've probably seen it. There's some really good ones out there. Ow, fuck you. Dick. Rude. <laughs> yes, Sanwell, yes! That part was one of my favorites because I mean so many people go into Dark Souls 2 and it's like <laughs> I guess they made this game easy because so casual players can play it. 
Oh, what? Is this too easy for you? Oh, actually, I think the game is rather tough. <laughs> Fucking great line. Yes, Animal, I'm glad you've seen those. I literally just watched them two days ago. Hi, Walker, how are you doing today? You been hanging in there? Oh, I'm hoping you feel better. I will let you guys know that Barry has two really adorable kitties that I didn't know about until recently. Damn it, you have a new reverse card too, Sky Shadow. Oh, that's why it didn't post. There's that. That's a cute owl. I love my Uno. But how are you doing, Walker? It's good to see you. Happy Souls must be like the Uno reverse card. Happy Souls is funny. It's best if you've actually played the games because they're they are great. So I do too, Sunflower. Um, have you played the Dark Souls games before? Oh, I forgot you were here. Oh, Pokemon! I beat him. I fucking beat him. I beat him. It's done. Technically speaking, any percent run. It's done. We fucking beat him. So anyway, but yeah, okay, fair enough, uh, Sunflower. I just wanted to make sure before I like started explaining stuff, I didn't want to like explain a whole bunch of stuff to you if it uh, if you knew it already. But when you Ember in this game, Ember is a limited item in the game. Uh, you can technically farm it from some characters, but it takes a long time to farm. I would know because I farmed 22 of them before today. <laughs> But uh, yeah, they give you a little bit more of a life boost, which is super important in SL1 run. So, uh, but yeah, it gives it kind of a really cool embery look to all of your outfits. I really like it. How much does, I wanna look at an outfit real fast. I need to sell some of those. Um, fire link armor. Yeah, I figured it was pretty tanky. I love the fire link armor so much. I use it a lot after I beat them. None of them are basic. They know nothing. Just know that they're very challenging games, and I'm just playing it to make it harder. Uh, but these games are really great. How many bits does it take to get it? Wait. How many bits does it take to get to what, Sky Shadow? Five in the morning, I'm working, so not so great. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I'm glad, Walker. I'm glad you're here. But hi, Pac-Man. I did. <laughs> no, not de a deathless SO one. Fuck that! I was surprised I beat the freaking uh, Abyss Watchers without dying. No, if I do end up doing another challenge run, it's definitely gonna just be straight up deathless. Hitless will never happen. I do not have the patience for learning that. That would just be ridiculous. So for shits and giggles, I was gonna go fight Osiris. But how are you, Opecman? Hi, you Blackbird. Fuck that, sloth. Fuck that. <laughs> Seriously, fuck that. This could be pretty bad. He might destroy me in like two hits. I don't remember his moveset. And right now I have a dark gem on. He's doing 251. I can take that hit. Where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? Come out. Come out. Don't be afraid. You were born. Oh. I think I can tank his hits. I think I can tank uh, his hits with the shield. No, damn it, he moved forward. Okay. Half health right there. Okay. No, you're not. You blackbird. I applaud you for trying to make this game harder for yourself and the kind of person that chooses the easiest mode. And that's very fair, Sunflower. The reason... I personally like challenges in games. Does it mean I play every game on the hardest difficulty? Because quite frankly, I like enjoying the story from time to time. But the Dark Souls series in general is known... Is considered to be one of the harder types of games. Harder almost genre, if you will, of games at this point. So they're designed to be that way. 
So if you ever get a chance and you see and you think that this is something you may enjoy playing because this is the type of game that you play more for gameplay and the feeling of accomplishment, then give it a try. Dark Souls games are really great. They're not necessarily for everyone, but they're a lot of fun when you do play them and when you feel yourself practicing and getting better. It, it really is a feeling that's almost replicated nowhere in gaming, in my opinion. But um, yeah, I, I've made it. These challenge runs, there's a lot of people who do challenge runs. This was the first time I've ever done a challenge run on a Souls game. So I'm just proud of myself for deciding to do a challenge and then succeeding in it. Feels good, but it's also one of my favorite games, so. <laughs> Sloth. Don't be afraid. Yeah, he wants to be my friend, Barry. Okay, I don't have an ember on again, so I might not be able to tank as well of damage, but I'm gonna try. We basically had him to half health. Oh shit. Okay, good, I didn't screw it up. We had him to half health, but I think I got a little lucky there. That was a lovely view. <laughs> uh, yeah, Souls like is. Wow, yeah, I can tank that. Oh! And then I got one shot. I actually don't know what hit me. Was it his face? I don't know what hit me, chat. <laughs> but yeah, Souls like is definitely a, a genre. It's just funny saying Souls like for a game that's actually Souls, but I agree with you. The stick hit you? Okay. I didn't actually see what hit me. I think I blinked. <laughs> I think I blinked and I just got dead. Oh, I'm sorry, Giddy Bees. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for being here and thank you for the resub. I hope you have a great Wednesday. Thank you. What's up, Zero ICA? How are you doing today? I wish I could reset this elevator, but I can't. That's definitely the better way to go back to his fight, so. When I say something witty, it falls into the Excel-like genre. <laughs> Excel, everybody is just giving you compliments today. Look at this. I'm glad you're doing well, Zero. I am doing very well. I am doing very well. We have officially beat this game SL1 any percent. And now for shits and giggles, I'm trying these uh, side bosses, so. But I am very happy. This was not an easy challenge, but God, it felt so good afterwards. Where have you gone? Are you hiding? I don't know if I can hit his tail or not. Come out. Ooh. Come out. Don't be afraid. He's trying to hit me with his tail. You were born a child of dragons. Oh uh, yeah. I tried to shield and it was too late. It's the best orange. Wait, what? Your orange name looks less orange day. It's the best orange. Barry, don't be a kiss ass. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are killing me today. <laughs> Thank you for keeping me grounded. <laughs> oh my god. I'm here to humble people. Scarlet, humble me. Actually, I don't think you need to. Osiris is already doing that for me. Got him to half health the first time, and now he's just like, ha, one shot, bitch. 
I think I'm being too greedy with my hits, though. It seems like I'm probably only going to have to do, like, two hits. And then, uh... And then not. My brother is sending me a shit ton of TikToks. <laughs> Touche, Scarlet. I did tell her to. Because I could easily humble Scarlet too, but I won't be an ass. Oh, Pekma, you should, you should know by now. This chat is special. Just like the orange color of Asel's name. And the wind blowing Scarlet's hair from Barry's compliments. What? Fuck you! <laughs> I couldn't even get back to the thing. 72, thank you very much. <laughs> Scarlet, can you imagine how Soul of Cinder would be? <laughs> I was expecting her to do that too. But it's not baby poop, it's it's orange, it's not... Wait, can you make brown in here? Actually, no, I've never seen a brown name on Twitch, right? Poopy Cossin 4? Definitely not fucking me. But I did beat Manus in 3. I beat Gwen in 2. Oh god, Llama. I don't know if I would ever try bl uh, blood level four. For people wondering what that is, where they were talking about Bloodborne. So you can do a challenge run in Bloodborne the same as you can in Dark Souls, except it's blood level four because the high, like the lowest level you can even do is four based off of the starting character. Because in Dark Souls 3, you have to play Deprived, which starts at level 1. So that's why this one's called an SL1 and Bloodborne is called a BL4. Have a good one, Zero. Thanks for stopping by. I thought so as well. I was like, I can't remember ever seeing a brown. I'm dead. <laughs> why did I agree to try this boss? I'll... Literally the first try, it was half health, and now it's... Can't even get into the room without dying. And I called it as soon as he jumped, because I knew he was going to land on me. I would try SL1 in this, and that's about it. Yeah. I mean, look at how many times that I actually played Dark Souls 3 before ever even trying a challenge run. A lot. I played this game a lot, which is why I don't think I would do an SL1 of Dark Souls 1 because I just don't know that game well enough. Like, what? You probably have to wear, like, the cat ring just to fall into Nito's fight. Like, there's got to be some weird strategies, even. What? I was facing him and it didn't walk. Oh well. I want to do them all. Have fun. I have no desire to play them all, including Dark Souls 2, Scarlet. If you say you have to do them all, then you're doing Dark Souls 2 as well. Is it possible to die fast from that battle? I don't think so, Opekmon. I think I set the record for the fastest to die to Osiris. Not two? It doesn't count then. Fake Dark Souls player. Fake Dark Souls player. Can't hack two. What I should probably do is, I mean, I can't even get to him yet, so it's not like I'm really losing out on much, but since he's a dragon, I should probably put on, I should probably put lightning on in general. I don't know what gun deer would do for lightning, but I bet you dark isn't going to damage him that well. Don't back up. God damn it. So I can tank his hits. At least during phase one.
That's bullshit. So that would have been an insta dead if I didn't have the Ember on. Oh shit! Cataclysm, hello! Hold that thought. <laughs> Thank you so much for the raid! I really appreciate it! Welcome in, raiders! We actually just finished the SL1 any percent just a minute ago. I beat the last boss and I was super thrilled. And now I'm trying the optional bosses. And I just died. He landed on me. Oh, whoopsies! Oh, sorry. <laughs> that gave me a second. Welcome in, Kat. How are you doing today? It's good to see you. Thank you so much for the raid! How is Wind Waker treating you? I actually saw that you just started playing that. It's the first time you've ever played it, correct? But welcome in, raiders. Hope you guys are doing well. If you don't know me, my name is CD. I know it looks like side, but it is actually CD. It's my initials. Uh, I typically focus on a variety of games around here. Typically first blind playthroughs, so stuff that I've never played before or never watched somebody play. However, occasionally we do do challenge runs, and this is actually one of those. I love Dark Souls 3. This is probably one of my top five games of all time. And I've played this game... Ugh, 12 or 15 times all the way through <laughs> and so I decided to do a challenge run. We uh, just completed the SL1 any percent challenge run. What that means is that I never leveled my character through the course of the play. So I am still a level one in the game. So my HP is crap, my stamina is crap, my ability to block damage is crap. Uh, the only thing I can level up is a weapon so I can at least do damage. But these games are incredible. Uh, oh, these are on your list. I hope you get a chance to play them at some point. I am. I'm having a great stream. Thank you so much for asking and again for the raid. Guys, uh, I'm Cataclysm is actually part of the Pug Club stream team. I have not gotten to check, check her out yet, unfortunately. There's a lot of awesome content creators on the Pug Club. And so you guys should definitely go check her out, though. I know I've seen Variety on her channel. I know that she started Wind Waker, Wind Waker just recently. But yeah, how's it going? First time and I'm loving it so far. I haven't played Wind Waker, so I was quite curious to hear uh, what you were thinking about it so far. Are you playing it on GameCube or Wii or uh, it went on the Wii U as well at one point. I think those are the only platforms or an emulator. But thank you for the follow as well. I appreciate it. Hi, Biscuit. How are you doing? Ugh, hang on. Only Biscuit's allowed to kill me, because he kills me in Among Us. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna start getting ready for bed. Sounds good, Llama. Wait, I gotta play your thing real fast. I gotta play your thing. So, Llama was trying to play a specific alert earlier, but I'm afraid it's DMCA. I don't know if it is. I'm gonna guess it is. But uh, I'm willing to replay this right now and then just mute the audio later. So... Here you go. This was... Hopefully it does it, because I just re-enabled it. Damn it, it didn't. Hang on. One second. I thought I re-enabled it. I wonder if it's because it's already through. Okay, well this is this the... This one goes out to Soul of Cinder. <laughs> this is what it was supposed to be. This is a test fit alert. Which is like the best thing in the freaking world because I died a lot in this game, but I don't know if that's DMC, so I didn't want to keep it as a as an alert just in case. So Yes, Biscuit is so sus. I hadn't played it very much, and Biscuit killed me like twice within like four matches. And I was like, this butt right here. Star Fox Rain, thank you for the hydration reminder. Appreciate it. But thank you so much, Cat, for the raid. I really do appreciate it. I look forward to getting to know you and checking out your, uh, uh, your stream and your stuff and all of that good jazz. What's up, the uh, goody one? My bad. Hopefully not, but I have gotten flagged. Well, I say flagged, not like 
um, not claims or whatever. Ah, I'm stuck in a corner. Ah, I literally am stuck. I am so dead. I don't know why I haven't died yet. Now I'm dead. <laughs> I was stuck. I literally couldn't get out of that. Oh, shoot. That was funny. Uh, DMC Muffins, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. And to Goody One, welcome in. Hopefully it won't, but I have gotten, yeah, flagged by shorter alerts in the past. So it's always just better to be safe than sorry. Star Fox Raid, I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. I wouldn't say any of your deaths were dumb. Bullshit, Opecmon. Did you just see how I got stuck in a corner? <laughs> Viffy, thank you so much for the gift of sub to Cat. I really appreciate that. Cat, enjoy your emotes and app reviewing, courtesy of the lovely Viffy. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, exactly, the goody one. Exactly. Better be safe. DMC Muffins, thank you again for the follow. And hello, how are you doing today? Emotes are so cute. Thank you. The lovely Maple Cat art does them. I'm pretty sure you're familiar with uh, Rainbow Zilla. She also does her emotes as well. So Maple Cat art does a wonderful freaking job. She also did my friend George's Zero Peer Productions. Uh, she just does good work. So I'm really happy with her. Exactly, Barry. It's just better to be, yeah, better be safe, especially since we were we were pushing, well, closer to partner. I'd rather not have to worry about any flags on the on the streams if I can help it. So extra safe right now. Except for that one one play because I had to because it was really funny. Has any of the raiders played Dark Souls at all? And if you guys want to lurk, if you guys need to go get food, especially Kat, I know you've probably been on Twitch for a while, so if you need to go get rest or food or love from a significant other or a pet or whatever it is, please do not let me hold you guys up. Go go take care of yourselves, alright? That is a requirement around here. Take care of yourselves. Push! Wow, okay, Sloth, let's lie to people, why don't we? You're a Souls lover? Nice, what's your favorite? What's your favorite souls? What's your favorite boss? God damn it, dude. Okay, I need to not lock on him at all. Yes, for the record, I did just beat Soul of Cinder. So if I die a lot going to freaking this bitch, don't judge me too harshly. <laughs> Never died yet. <laughs> I just did SL1, Deathless. <laughs> I may as well say Hitless at that point. My brain is drained from the Zelda game, so I'll be like, oh yes, please, please, please. Yeah, it's lovely to meet you. I'll definitely come check you out whenever I can. And guys, make sure you go check out Cataclysm. She's a wonderful member of the Pug Club stream team, playing some Wind Waker. I know I'll, I know some of you guys just watched me play through Ocarina of Time for the first time. So I know there's some Zelda fans in here. Go get food or whatever. Does beer count? I mean, sure. It has calories. I don't know if that's exactly how that works, but I'm going with it. It's liquid bread, yeah. Sekiro is my favorite, and funnily enough, uh, Sword Saint is my favorite boss. Alright. I have only played Sekiro once. I played it two years ago. And honestly, for the first eight hours, I didn't hate it. But I also did not like it. <laughs> it wasn't until I completely wiped my mind of Dark Souls play because I'll be honest with you, the goody one, I don't parry ever in Souls games. Obviously, Sekiro is the one exception to that. And so when I completely changed up my play style and I got used to deflecting and parrying, then the game suddenly became fun to me. There was like a moment in time where it just clicked. Like, I don't know, it was like flipping a switch. And all of a sudden, I was just, I was fine with it. So I ended up really enjoying Sekiro. But I've only played it once, and I do plan on trying to play it through again sometime later this year. I'm looking forward to it, because I want to get another ending. I mean, Glasto loves talking about Armored Core, though. Glasto is the person who consistently brings up Armored Core in chat. However, I did the, the article recently did mention that it looks like they're going to be making another Armored Core soon. So the last one exists was on PS3.
basically to get a one. Yeah, I just don't want to press my luck for something like that. We'll just try to be Miss Goody Two Shoes for a while. God dang it, you're doing the thingy again. Okay, I'm not gonna lock on him unless I'm just far away from him. Doing 251. What? Okay, that's some bullshit because I have my shield up. I'm so... It's so funny how I came in here and did him half damage and now I can't even get like more than a couple hits on him. So yeah, since we just finished the SL1 run, I think I mentioned it, but uh, we're just, I was just going through and trying random, uh, I guess there's four bosses, four side bosses that I didn't attempt during the run, because this was just an any percent, and uh, to get to three of those bosses, I have to beat this boss. So I could always try the DLC, although I don't think I want to. <laughs> I love the DLC in this game, but good lord, do I do not want to. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to go fight Frida on SL1. <laughs> <laughs> or demon princes. Honestly, demon princes is just... I, I'm so scared of it, so... Flawless runs. Thank you, Barry. I appreciate it. Pontiff is the second exception. Wait, to what, Opekmon? Sorry, I think I missed the first part of that. Thank you to getting one. Yep, this was the first time I've ever done a challenge run. So, yep, first, first time. Dark Souls 3 is my favorite of the series. And now I want to do it deathless. Everybody said that it, this was a gateway drug. That I was going to want to try more challenge runs. And they're right. I will never do hitless. Because hell no. The patience required for that does not exist in my body. But I could definitely see myself doing a hitless of DS3. And people after watching me do Soul of Cinder are like, you could not do a hitless or a deathless. I'll be like, guys, I was a level one during this whole playthrough, all right? I'm actually a lot better when I actually have weapons I can use. Yeah, I don't know if I'll ever try a BL4 Bloodborne. I'm just not as good at that game. You are in an awkward spot. Come over here. Please. See, so yeah, I can tank those completely as long as I'm facing him and I have my shield up. Ah, Damn it! Dear little Ocelot, where have you gone? Are you hiding from me? I can also apparently tank him jumping on me. Good to know. Don't be afraid. As long as I have stamina, I can tank that. What could you possibly fear? Although now I'm scared no. to do damage to him. Because no. of how. Yourself, My dear little Ocelot. I stabbed him in the butt a couple times. I was a little greedy there, I'm not gonna lie. Ocelot! I think I can. What? No, you bastard! I put my shield down for a second. Oh man, feels bad. No, I didn't mean hitless. I meant deathless. I think I accidentally said hitless, which is fucking bullshit because I won't. <laughs> deathless run of Project Zomboid, which is going pretty well, might I add, since I'm already three and a half, three and a half months into the game without dying. Tis not caramelized onion. Tis not. No, Ocelot's actually a... Sorry, it's uh, not Ocelot. Osiris is actually a really interesting boss. He used to be the king of Lothric. And uh, he went mad trying to figure out the ancient... Uh, blah, 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 ancient writings of Seath the Scaleless, who was, you know, the immortal dragon from the original game. 
and uh, basically became this this being because he was trying to learn these secrets to immortality. And uh, he ended up having this baby, which is an actual baby, um, thinking that it was going to be an all-powerful, immortal being, and when in fact it's just a frail child that isn't anything powerful whatsoever. So he's just weird. Uh, hey Raiders, I'm a Project Zomboid streamer from Arkansas. <laughs> Thank you to give you one. We've gotten him to that stage twice, but that's not very good. I know his dash attack will probably one-shot me even through the shield, but that time I didn't even get to test because I accidentally put my shield down. It didn't go through the shield, I just accidentally let it go down. I don't have that many embers, so I don't mind using them because we're just kind of messing around now. Now that I've officially beat the SL1 run, I can care less what I do. Except dying to him. That, that kind of sucks, actually. That was a very good waste of an ember. <laughs> I guess I'll just pop the embers whenever I get into the fall gate. Whoops. Okay, except for that. That that I don't want to happen, because then that's just a waste of an ember. <laughs> Hang on, wait a second. You know what? There's people out here that drop embers, damn it. <laughs> Dark Souls is so comical. Uh, it was lovely, and by lovely I mean son of a bitch. You guys are the bitches that drop embers. Give me embers. Come on, give me my ember back. Fuck! <laughs> that would have been so awesome. I would have been like, damn. Give me embers. These are the guys that I farm for embers for like an hour and a half. <laughs> yep, Bloodborne came out right before DS3. Well, I say right before. Like a year before, I think. Yep, I used Ye Olde Broadsword. Um, whenever I first started this run, I did read a little bit about like strategies in terms of SL1s because I had never done an SL1. And uh, I knew I couldn't use some of the weapons that I normally use. So the weapons that were recommended was the Broadsword, there was some Straight Sword, uh, and then you can use the Club and the reinforced club actually i don't think it's the reinforced club i think it's the big bunk club uh but there's not that many weapons that you can use efficiently without using rings to be able to wield the broadsword's actually super early in the game actually it is barely an inconvenience when you start out as deprived you actually get a club so the club is automatically usable which is great uh you could either s uh, keep leveling the club or uh this broadsword actually comes from like right like from the church off to the right um i think if i'm not mistaken it's in that same area where you find the first estus flash shard and the shield i am using is the uh dragon crest shield five however uh most of the game i wasn't able to use this shield the entire time i uh, or it wasn't usable completely um because if you take off the strength ring I actually don't wield it perfectly, but even though I don't wield it perfectly, it's still 100% physical resistance, which for me was super important. So you can choose not to play a shield the entire time you play, but I am more comfortable with this shield in Dark Souls 3, so I decided to still use it. But yeah, so there's a couple shields that you could use, but you can't really wield efficiently but you still get damage up boost and also resistance. So even though I couldn't wield it efficiently, I was still able to guard 100% physical and that helped in a lot of boss fights, so. And it's actually helping for Osiris right now as well. Where you cheat with rings and twin blades? Girl, you already said that you don't even get what is the hunter's ring or whatever until fucking the archive. Yeah, if you do lack of shield, then probably double handing the club might actually be the better play for you then. Uh, da -da 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 -da. I think if you double hand, I thought you could double hand the large club. Maybe you can't. 
But yeah, the club is apparently a very common weapon for it. Hell no, caramelized onion. Did you see how much I just struggled with Soul of Cinder? May I remind you how many attempts it took for that? Yeah, it's funny. Tom would actually probably love the SL1. Because he loved using the club and he almost did the entire game naked. Alright, let's try this again without the oops. By putting the ember on here! <laughs> I was gonna say, you cannot jump that far. I know you can. Okay, that stunned me because I ran forward. That's a good time to be able to DPS him before he gets the whatever the hell missed off. I hate how he keeps going up that tree. Get the freak away from that tree, because that is a very bad place to fight him. You were born a child of dragons. What could you possibly do? No. No. Show yourself, Ocelot. My dear little Ocelot. Took a little damage from that. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it, a goody one. Probably like 300. And I'm not joking. I wish I was. Um, he was the only wall boss. Uh, Princess took me like two hours. I'm not exactly sure how many attempts. Uh, it wasn't until we got to about Pontiff that I was really actually. I say struggling. Pontiff was maybe like. Nine or ten attempts. Dancer was like probably 15 to 20. Dragon Armor Slayer actually ended up being a lot harder boss than I would have imagined for some reason. Please don't jump. Oh, thank god that did not hit me. But yeah, no, Soul of Cinder was an absolute shit show for me. I shouldn't have rolled. I should have just trusted my shield. Honestly, I can just tank all of his damage if I don't roll. But yeah, unfortunately, Soul of Cinder was literally a absolute wall for me. Uh, but, like, I was able to one-shot Abyss Watchers. That was kind of surprising to me. I didn't think I was going to. But I was either one or two tries on all of the bosses leading up to Pontiff. Pontiff started and then it just kind of increased a little bit. Aldrich was pretty easy. I think he was like four or five tries. Uh, Yorm was... One or two? It might have been two, actually. I think I died once to Yorm. Didn't I die once to Yorm? Regardless, Pontiff, Dancer, which Dancer wasn't even that bad. Uh, Armor Slayer was the surprising one. Princes took two hours, and then Soul of Cinder literally just walled me for hours. So, yes, he did just crush the invisible baby. I wish I was joking, but yes, he did. Biffy, I'm gonna say it was probably close to. 300 attempts on soul. I stopped counting the deaths this stream because quite frankly it just kind of got distracting and was more discouraging than anything because it kind of felt like I should have beat soul ascender sooner than that. <laughs> but yeah, so I uh, yeah exactly the goody one. No matter what it felt incredible when I did it and I'm just more proud of myself for persevering and going through it and actually completing it. So but thank you. I appreciate that. And thank you for the follow. Oh god, don't get stuck in that corner again. Oh god, we're gonna die to the this bitch boy again. <laughs> Couldn't unlock off of him. But yeah. I heard challenge runs are gateway dragon. I, I do really want to try a deathless run of this game at some point. I would consider challenge runs of other ones, but honestly, Dark Souls 3 is just always going to be my favorite. I can take that. Alright, so I'm not going to roll. I'm just going to tank it. Just got to keep an eye on my stamina and uh, tank any of his hits. See? 
Benefits of using a physical shield. Dear little Ocelot, where have you gone? I got a little greedy there. I should have left sooner. Come out. Come out. I was gonna say, it shouldn't be far enough. Or it should be far enough. Child of dragons. What could possibly happen? Oh god. Pretty tanky. If I get lucky and doesn't do the sprint, I think we're good. If he doesn't do the fly attack either. Boom! There we go! I get really good RNG on that. <laughs> ah, nice. I got really good RNG on that one. He did not do, like, three of his attacks. That would have done crazy damage. That wasn't hit. Wait. No, wait. No, it wasn't. I had to heal once. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, was it hitless? But I've actually... I've done a couple things hitless once or like without realizing it you're amazing and stubborn still amazed and proud of you oh i'm hella stubborn honestly i thought about doing that a cell just to find out what the final count was but i really just can't be bothered yes ocelot is the invisible baby that's mentioned correct so is the uh, baby invisible because of the lore? Because uh, we can't portray violence towards children in the games. It's actually because of the lore. <laughs> like, maybe also the second thing, but because of the lore. Hi, Brat. How are you doing today? Bless the run. Yes, we like it. Hi, Clips. How are you doing? Thank you for the GGs. Hi, Adam Bomb. How are you doing? Today is a big day? What's it? Why is it a big day? Tell me. Give me all the information. Well, now we can go to Dragon Arch Peak. Well, let's go fight Champion Gundir and see how that goes. <laughs> I usually don't struggle with him, but uh, it's, <laughs> I'm usually not fighting him during an SL1 run. So, should be interesting. Haha. <laughs> oh, really, Adam Bomb? Awesome. Sending good vibes you guys' way. That's awesome, it's good to see you. I think you got gifted a sub earlier, so congrats. I don't trust you. <laughs> Although I know. I'm just being facetious. Tight night scale, I don't even think I have anything that I scale with that right now. The path of the dragon will light thy way. Biffy, you're not supposed to be watching this. I just realized that you're still in here. Oh, nice. How's Demon Souls Remastered treating you? Is there really caramelized onion? Somebody had to have just modded like something in there because I don't believe that should exist in the game if I'm not mistaken. Right? Isn't it a great hat, brat? Everybody, dude, it, it doesn't matter how many people come in the stream. That's the first thing they mention is the hat. I took damage for that, okay. Fool's Idol, nice. Wait, were you playing it online? Wait, is that the one I'm thinking of? Hang on. I only played Demon Souls once, so. Thank you for the raid. I can't see chat for a moment. Sorry. Fool's idol. Wait, or is that the. Hang on, I gotta look at the picture real fast. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was the. It was between two. I couldn't remember the name. Cool, good job. Welcome in raiders. Let me switch screens. Nine of eight. Thank you so much for the raid. How are you doing today? Bentley, welcome back. It's good to see you. Welcome, welcome guys. How was Fallout 4 today? Octavius, it's good to see you. Holly Turnpin, a lot of amazing, awesome people. How the heck are you all doing today? Guys, go check out Nine of Eight, playing some Fallout 4, which we are gonna be playing a first playthrough of that this year. So 
Um, hopefully in the first half of the year. I think we'll still be able to get through what we need to. <laughs> Guess we're gonna find out. I don't need to go this way. It's an ashen ring, but I don't care. I'm doing it. No, I don't want to waste my... I'm doing it anyway. I'm a sucker for loot. Give me the loot. Give me the loot. Oh, shit. I'm out of stamina. This was a very bad decision. <laughs> well, welcome in, raiders. How are you guys doing today? Looks like voodoo. It's good to see you back. I hope you're doing well. Dang, that's actually going through my shield because of the poison damage. Well, welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is CD. If you guys don't know me yet, variety streamer, mostly focusing on first blind playthroughs. And uh, I also do an occasional challenge run, which is what we're doing. Or at, did not actually kill me, surprisingly enough, like I thought it was going to. But uh, we are doing a challenge run. It's called an SL1 run, which means I do not level my character, which makes this game a lot harder. We actually beat it earlier, and by beat it, I mean we finish the main game any percent. So I beat the final boss, but we're just kind of running around and uh, be trying some of the other side bosses now, the optional bosses. So feel free to hang out if you guys want to, but I know if you guys have been on Twitch for a while and you need to get some food, get some sleep, get some drinks, whatever you need to do, please take care of yourself at the end of the day, because we will always be here at a later date. I have not raged yet. Actually, I uh, felt incredible earlier. Like, eh. Incred incredible. I just hit the tombstone. Yes, sunshine. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. Chat. I think this is the end for us. Just kidding, I have a physical shield and it just destroyed you. Ah, I ran out of stamina. We do roll a lot, sunshine. Ah, there's sunshine, sunflower. I kept saying sunshine. Ugh. Nine of eight, it doesn't happen very often. <laughs> it doesn't happen very often. I just don't want you to get spoiled, Biffy. You need to experience this game for yourself. I did just waste my ember though, that kind of sucks, but whatever. It's fine. Yes, love this game. Love, love, love it. I'm enjoying the challenge run. We technically have beat the challenge run now. I know there's one behind. Oh damn, that insta killed me. Whoopsies. It's hard for me to imagine raging CD. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I've gotten in sour moods before, but when, like, I think of rage, I think of somebody, like, yelling. I think I own... Even when I yelled earlier, when we were super close to beating the boss, the closest I got was just, like, letting out a really loud, like, yell for a moment, and then just being like, okay, I'm good. <laughs> and that was it. Like, it wasn't like a continuous yelling, smacking things, whatever. It was just a, all right, that happened, son of a gun. Let's go again. I keep hitting my sword on the dang gravestone, so. Yeah. Because the last time, I mean, I streamed and I was like in a bad mood. It was more because of other reasons. <laughs> so it was just kind of like, okay, we'll just end the stream here. But it wasn't like a pure rage. Hey, I just got some twin blades, Scarlet. Be proud of me. Have you ever played any of these games, 9 of 8? Will you play Starfield when it comes out? Fudge! I forgot about Starfield. Oh my gosh, I forgot that comes out too. I'll be playing it, eBlackbird. I don't think I'll play it right at launch because I'll want other people to play it first so people would actually watch. Uh, I just picked up some Twin Blades. I don't even remember which ones these ones are. It's the ones that those people specialize in. Not that one. The Warden Twin Blades, I think, are the ones that I just picked up. Biffy was talking to you, how rude. I can't remember. 
remember for sure, but I'm pretty sure if you go over there, there's two crystal dragons this time. I don't really know that I want to fight them. Yeah, it ain't worth it for me. <laughs> it ain't worth it. Let's go try to do Gundir. And we'll see if I can beat him. New game plus 200. Like, the highest new game plus I did was 4. And it gets uh, pretty crazy with the... With the uh, damages and stuff. It's basic. At that point, you're doing hitless runs. Past New Game Plus, where like mine was getting harder, but like where you're talking about, it's it's hitless at that point. Oh, I just realized that lady's not spawning because I don't have an ember on. Ha! Maybe it's a good thing I lost my ember. Oh wait, is the run back all the way? I forgot that. Got him, I can get you. I did not remember that the run back was the entire way. Oopsies. Hi, Omerta, how are you doing? Yoink. <laughs> nice, you Blackbird, that's cute. It's an NPC invader, yes, Caramelized Onion, and quite frankly, she's kind of a bish. If I'm being real, she is kind of a bish. However, sometimes you can get her to fall off that edge. Oh my goodness! Mono! What do I owe the pleasure, my good dude? I'm gonna come back here for a second so I don't get killed by something stupid because knowing my luck, I would. Mono, thank you so much for the raid, my dude. I really appreciate that. How are you guys doing? Welcome in, raiders. It's lovely to meet your acquaintances. Dis to the face. I, I don't want a dis to the face, please. I mean, a lot of things have already, like, killed me in the face. Actually, I was kind of getting stabbed in the butt a lot earlier. Sola Cinder was not being pleasant to me earlier, but then I finally beat him. Anyway, hi, guys. How are you doing? What the heck is Wind jam Jammers? Because I have no clue. Let me tab out for just a second so I can make sure to say hi to everyone. Eric V1, welcome in. Woody TM, Mega Misfit, how are you doing today? Pax, I hope you were doing well. Makatu, I like your name. Welcome in. Everybody get up, it's time to jam now. We got a real, wait, isn't it real jam going now? Welcome to the Space Jam. Oh, that song's going to be stuck in my head now. Thank you for that. <laughs> Dunsey Burr, welcome in. Word it? Word it so easy. It's probably not exactly the reference, but six pizzas. I'll take six pizzas. Fuck yeah. Affliction, welcome in. I hope you're doing well. A meat popsicle. Welcome to you, my friend. How the heck are you guys doing today? Hi, my name is CD. I know my name looks like Sai, but it is actually CD. I'm a variety content creator here on Twitch, mostly focusing on first blind playthroughs with the occasional challenge run thrown in. Dark Souls 3, SL1, guys. SL1 means that it is a soul level 1 run. I cannot level up my character, nor have I. And I did an any percent run, and I actually beat the fucking guy Soul of Cinder tonight. Um, I cannot tell you how good it made me feel. <laughs> so I actually completed the run tonight. I was able to beat Soul of Cinder. It took a shit ton of tries, but I actually did beat him. So... We're uh, messing around. I just beat Osiris. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the game, I'm going through some of the side bosses just to see if I can beat them. Uh, but I have completed the any percent. So officially, I am a Dark Souls one or Dark Souls three challenge runner. I I fucking did it. <laughs> Sorry, I will cuss a lot. I was really, I, I was like breaking down, man. I it was such a good feeling. So. But yeah, anyway, guys, um, you're going to find Pokemon Nuzlocke Run gets started this weekend. I'm building a Lego on stream on Thursday. Uh, we're going to be playing Fallout 4 later this year, modded Skyrim. Uh, da -da -da -da. We're going to be doing some more Souls-like content. Neo 2 DLC, 
We're going to be doing another run of Sekiro. We've got Final Fantasy X coming up. So if any of that sounds fun to you, that's a lot of what you're going to find on this channel in the next couple of months. But if you guys don't know Mono, I actually just met him recently via our friend OMS. Uh, he raided in there a couple times. Mono seems like a really cool dude. He plays a whole bunch of different games. And he was playing Windjammers, which is like Street Fighter makes Frisbee golf. That's why you guys were saying a disc to the face. I'm gonna have to check it out now. <laughs> uh, fart box master. Master, sorry. I put too much emphasis on that ending there for you. Uh, thank you for the follow. Eric V1, thank you for the follow. Mega Misfit, thank you for the follow. And Pax Telemanus. Telemanus. Have you fought Manus? <laughs> But guys, seriously, thank you so much for coming and hanging out. You guys are more than welcome to hang out and uh, see me try Champion Gun Deer. I haven't fought him yet on SL1. So we're going to try that here in a second. Uh, that should be good. And let me know if you guys have played Dark Souls games. Because quite frankly, it's one of my favorite genres. And uh, yeah, Dark Souls 3 is one of my all-time favorite games. No lie. So... It's a pleasure to meet you guys. Hope to get to know you, and I am totally gonna die for your pleasure right now because I'm an idiot. That's fine. This is totally not what I do. I totally don't die, like, often and lose 68. It doesn't matter. It's an SL1 run. Right I don't care if I lose souls. We're good. I, that wasn't just embarrassing. Mana's only saying that because he's got to beat up his community. It's cool that we're kind of into it. Fair enough, Woody. Whatever floats your boat. I ain't judging around here. I don't actually play any games, I just keep making my backlog more out of control. Yeah, you get to the end boss of a game and then you just freaking you don't finish it. I'm mad at my mod Acel because he has not finished um, Hollow Knight. He got to the very last fight and then he stopped playing, so to be honest, it kind of triggered me to no end. Neo 2 is so tough. I loved Neo 2. It's actually a lot better than uh, the Neo 1 in terms of story, the gameplay. It felt a lot smoother to me. It had a lot more variety with the different demon ability. Are you kidding me? Not a lot of 68,000 souls. Bullshit. Well, uh, I'm not proving to you guys that I'm a very good gamer. You guys are coming in here and like, this person did not just do an SL1 run. Because I literally just died like a left twice. But losing the souls doesn't mean jack shit because... I can't spend them on anything. Oh, really, Mono? See, the thing is, I played Neo 2 so quickly, I don't remember a lot about it. I know that sounds bad, but like, I don't remember the boss fights and stuff. I just, I don't, <laughs> which is so weird. Oh shit. You're kidding me! Okay, this is embarrassing now. Uh, this is uh, a little bit embarrassing. I swear I have not died this much all night the pressure what's up blue scorpio how are you doing yep there's a poll if you would like to vote for opecmon i actually voted for fall because i love hoodies and uh, quite frankly the fall weather with a hoodie is lovely and i would say the spring but the spring everybody gets miserable because of allergies i don't but uh it sucks seeing everybody else get sick from allergies so fall person all the way plus i'm a big football fan so I will totally self probe and say I did Deathless DS3 with 15 whiskeys, so I'm sort of almost runner myself. You did a Deathless run with 15 whiskeys, eh? I'm gonna have to see some proof. Not that I don't believe you or anything. Well, shit, you guys are watching me play and like, wow, this person really should not have won an SL1 run, let's be honest. But yeah, Neo 2 was good in terms of story, gameplay, stuff of that nature. But I really need to replay it because I don't remember very much about it. And on top of that, I need to do the DLC because I bought the DLC. I just haven't played it yet. I appreciate you lurking, Blue Scorpio. How are you today? Unless you want to go back to your lurk, which you are more than welcome to. Oh, I have so many hoodies. It's ridiculous. Spring flowers is really nice on flower element. World record whiskey deathless. <laughs> I'm allergic inside and out year round, even allergic to my cat. Oh, see, that sucks. My fiance is allergic to cats. So we have a dog, which is perfectly fine because we love our freaking dog. Her name is Samus. We are nerds through and through. I met my fiance through Xbox Live. So we are very nerdy, 
family. <laughs> I thought I heard you, you son of a bitch. Uh, but we have a dog, so that's good. And he's not allergic to my dog, so thank god. Not judging your run, I don't think I can make it past the first stage of Dark Souls 1. <laughs> Hey, you never know until you give it a try, and let me tell you, it gets addicting after that. Once you beat the first couple of bosses and you, you learn, you figure out your playstyle, this game becomes so fucking addicting, it's not even funny. You get addicted to the challenge, you get addicted to that dopamine hit that you get every time you beat a boss. Like, I'm not kidding you, when I beat the Soul of Cinder tonight, I was like in tears. I had like so much adrenaline running through my body. I thought I could run, get up and run a marathon. Like it is like a drug the way you feel after beating this. What's up, mate? How are you doing? So this is the broadsword. It's not a terrible sword, but when you do an SL1 run, you don't level up your stats. So you don't have the ability to use a lot of different weapons. So unfortunately, it's one of the few, oh shit one of the few weapons that I could use so it's not a terrible weapon it's not a 100% great weapon either though but it is a weapon you can get pretty early on in the game which is nice I did give it a try that's how I know I can't get past the first <laughs> I'm sorry Woody I shouldn't laugh it just it kind of cracked me up a little bit I'm glad to hear it blue Scorpio I'm glad to hear it your kitty is shredder and she lives up to her name I'm gonna have to go creep on you and find pictures. Not gonna lie, I love me some cats, man. It sucks that I don't get to have them anymore. Michiru, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. So welcome in. Uh, Cider is going for the longest ever living character in Project Zomboid. That's not true. I've lived on PZ about 1% as long as CD has. Yeah, so recently I've been super, super duper addicted to Project Zomboid. Some of you guys may be familiar with the game. Let me know if you've played it. I'm curious. I've been playing on a private server and I'm still pretty much addicted to it. Not gonna lie. So, uh, yeah. Is the red PS5 controller more red or more pink? I can show you. One second. I'm using my black one right now, so. Uh, definitely kind of more, well, actually, that doesn't look. It's got a little pinkish tint to it, but I actually say it's still pretty red. Uh, let me find something red real fast. Holy shit. Ah, red. It's definitely got a pink tint to it. There you go. Sorry, my bullet. I don't use this one yet because I'm using the black one right now. I have a thing for cool controllers. I used to buy a lot of controllers, but I kind of had to kick that habit because quite frankly, I don't use that many controllers. So it's kind of pointless to have that many, but. Sloth, thank you for the 100 bits. You didn't need to do that to check that. Mono, have you been playing some P PZ? It reminds me of they came out with a hot pink controller last week at Best Buy. I need to get that. Ooh, I'd be a fan of that. As an art student, it's not pink. No, it's not pink, but it has a pink tint to it. Oh, gotcha, mate. Fair enough. Nova pink? Yeah, I would say that. But yeah, I have the pink, uh, the black, and then obviously the white one, the OG. I wanted to get the purple one, but <laughs> I don't need freaking four controllers for a PS5, dude. I don't. I don't, I don't, I don't. Please don't shoot me in the back. You dick! <laughs> I said please don't. Ass 
that. Didn't realize how crappy this run back is whenever you're in SL1. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to uh, using controllers, I mean, technically, you guys know I typically use my Elite 2 because I can use the back buttons to be able to sprint, which is, like, crucial in games like this. So, I only use the PS5 controllers whenever I'm using the PS5. All right, Champion Gundeer is probably going to kick my ass. Let's be honest. I'm not going to use the uh, Ember right now. I want to see how he plays first. I mean, I know him, but it's a lot different playing this mode. I'm going to have to find a time to heal. Ooh. What? Okay. I was waiting for the kick. I can tank the kick. Oh my god, that's huge. Shit. Oh god. So I can tank the kick, which is super important. Oh, his music's so epic. God damn it. All right. Halfway through the fight, I'll take it. That's true, but it feels so much better, SL. So the, again, the reason why I even like it is because I can hold it down, which is my sprint button, which means that I don't actually have to take my fingers off of the sticks to look at the same time. <laughs> But yeah, it does kind of remind me of the old Mad Cats. The ones you would always give to your friend. You're like, yeah, we can play together. Here's the shitty other controller, my Mad Cats controller. <laughs> One of the Switch controllers has extra buttons and I don't use any of them. <laughs> hey, sometimes all you need is the classic A, B, X, Y. I bought that Hello, yesterday. Sir. Might I suggest that you play Vampire Survivors on stream at some point? It's only $2.99 on Steam currently. A criminally cheap game for robust value. This is definitely not a hashtag ad or anything. Vampire Survivor. God damn. Oh, it literally was saying it. No, I shit you not. I will actually go with what Sky Shadow just said, guys. I actually got um, Llama to buy it yesterday. And he's already played the shit out of it. So yeah, I was watching... Mono, have you played it? Because I was watching OMS play it. This game, where is it? Vampire, Survivor, shit, whatever. Yeah, I literally bought this yesterday. I bought this yesterday, guys. So uh, yeah, OMS and Llama. Look at this shit. This game came out December 17th of 2021. December 17th. And it has 9,000... Reviews overwhelmingly positive at 99%. Like, I've never seen that before. That is wild. So wild. But yeah, apparently, this game is if, well, I say apparently, I bought it yesterday. It's three bucks and it's a little like a uh, roguelike game, action roguelike. And uh, yeah, I've been watching OMS play it quite a few times recently. Sloth, you should buy it. <laughs> But yes, no, for I 100% agree with Sky Shadow. Sorry to interrupt the Dark Souls for this, but I actually completely agree with Sky Shadow. I am going to play this on stream as a one-off. Sky Shadow is actually planning on doing that sometime next week. So uh, if you guys are interested in at least seeing what this game is about, I do plan on doing it once next week at the bare minimum. <laughs> But yeah, good call out, Sky Shadow. Thank you for the bits. Hashtag not sponsored, but that game is actually really cool. And it's $3. You don't have $3. So I would actually agree with that. I was wondering what it was and, and uh, just asked. Everyone just bought it recently? Yeah, I've been watching OMS play it uh, here real fast. 
Barry, you just changed your freaking name color. Old man Sethus. We've uh, raided him a couple times. He's good people. That's actually how I knew who Mono was. Um, but he's been playing it lately. So if you guys want to go check out one of his VODs or something, uh, he's been playing it lately. Mono said that it's actually really fun. Did you play it as well, Mono? I'm giving you another shout out just because I can. <laughs> just because I can. <laughs> you know what? Five dollars a month. <laughs> Wait, did I just die? I just died, chat! <laughs> Apparently I died tabbing out because um <laughs> I'm back at the bonfire. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Fucking hell. That's really funny actually. Well that happens. <laughs> oh god, it was probably this bitch. Oh man. Alright, well then go watch Mono's VODs or OMS's VODs to check it out. I've already got Llama playing it. It is literally $3, and from what I've heard, it is the th best $3 you can spend on Twitch. I would only argue that all F4 is really worth $3 as well, because you guys saw me play all F4 recently. Mono, if you like fun platforming games, you should definitely check out a game called Alt F4. It's only $3! So for almost the price of subbing to somebody on Twitch, you could buy two really good games for $3 a piece. I've been playing that too? Yes! I love you. I knew I liked you the first time I saw your name. <laughs> it's heavily, and I mean heavily inspired by Castlevania. That's what I noticed, just like based off of uh, what OMS was saying. And I watched Llama play it last night too. He was streaming in the Discord so I could watch him play. Wait, Celestrea also changed her name or color. God damn it, guys. You got Bev to buy all F4, and now she's gonna force me to play that shit. Yes, Bev! Yes! Yes, bitch, let's go! All F4 is so good, though! It really is. I wonder if I can just sprint. I mean, I should be able to just sprint to the boss fight. Let's see if I can uh, not. F Let me see if I can get him to half again. Are you wow kidding me? Don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. Destiny, don't touch me is for the hunter class. Except they never brought those to Destiny 2 because they're assholes. They brought every other exotic to fucking Destiny 2 except for my don't touch me. Because they're dick bags. Sorry, I may be a little bitter about that. I thought it was too soon. I couldn't get out of it. I tried rolling. I was already stunlocked. Okay, so I can almost get him to half each time. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and throw on an ember this time and just see what happens. Ugh. <laughs> yep, it's working, Celeste. Hi, Robo Knight. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, man. I am doing freaking phenomenal, actually. We have officially beat the SL1 uh, any percent of Dark Souls 3. <laughs> this color is considered very berry. It kind of works. No, I see it, Barry. <laughs> you guys just like messing with your colors in chat so then I don't remember it's you. I know you guys. The most video game ass video game I've played in a while. That was a review. Dude, I freaking love Steam reviews sometimes. I've read so many good ones. The one about the gnome. Can I go find that real quick? I know I'm supposed to be focusing on Dark Souls 3, but can we talk about that? Llama- wait, shit. Llama went to bed, didn't he? Fuck. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I, I've got to show you one- one Twitch review, chat. Just one Twitch review. I swear- or not Twitch review, Steam review. I swear we'll go right back to the game, but... Is it- was it find the gnome? Find the gnome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so there's this game. Okay, let's not even play an audio. Okay, so there's this game called Find the Gnome, right? <laughs> uh, 
Now, just like all you do is it's a top down find the gnome. It's a point and click hidden object game, right? And we scroll to the fucking reviews, dude. <laughs> all it says is found him. <laughs> but then look at this fucking shit. There's 468 hours. And then you've got this one where it says, where is he? For 2,600 hours. <laughs> I don't know why that fucking kills me, dude. <laughs> so this guy found him after 468 hours, and this guy still can't find him at 2600. I don't know why. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hey, God. Is this also the really funny review? Okay, one more. I swear. This is it. This is what matters. The experience of a product. How will it make someone feel? Will it make life better? Does it deserve to exist? Find the Gnome has changed me. In the short amount of time that I have spent with this game, I have experienced an amount of joy that no other game has made me feel. I have come away from it a better person. Before Find the Gnome, I was nothing. I was existing rather than living. A shell of my former self. I wasn't half the man I used to be. I thought that there was no hope for me. But one night at 4 a.m. while eating some shredded cheese and possibly high, I don't recall, I discovered Find the Gnome. I wish I had known about the game sooner because let me tell you this now. It has the power to solve so many of the world's problems and change so many lives. This is what we we should use to cure diseases. This is what doctors should give out as prescription for all illnesses. If this were toothpaste, 10 out of 10 dentists would recommend. If it were some hand sanitizers, it would kill 100% of germs. Find the gnome is the key to world peace. For centuries, we have been striving to end all wars, never knowing how to go about it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I can safely say I have found the solution. This game has shown me the path to greatness, and I hope it shall do the same for you. Boom. All right. Sorry. That was that was great. Anywho, I told you guys that was it, so uh, that's it for now. But goddamn, some Steam reviews just absolutely kill me. And for some reason, Find the Gnome had a very fair amount of stupid slash silly ones, and I loved it. Uh, I have not Omerta. I have not seen that. Anyway. Did you really, Asel? <laughs> the reviews for 5D chess with multiverse travel is also incredible. Mono, I swear to god, I will look that up after the stream. I swear. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, I won't Omerta. I feel like my recommended is pretty good by now. Honestly, Estelle, Vampire Survivors looked like a crap ton of fun. OMS has been playing it a lot lately. And I've been watching him play it. It seems like good times. Uh, I think I can run past most of this, May, I think is what you said. I'm a yeah, I was a little worried about that dude, was honestly what I was worried about, but. Affliction69420, thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Ah, are you freaking kidding me? See, this is why you don't run past everyone, because then I'm down two Estus flasks. Oh, well. I wish, mate, I wish. But unfortunately, it looks like I uh, still need to kill some of them as I go. Just to be on the safe side. Wish I could get him to fall off the map. That'd be fucking hilarious. Oh my god, I have no idea how I lived that. Nope, nope, nope! Ah! Sorry. <sighs> Holy fuck, dude. Ah! Oh my god. Robot, I heck you, dude. <laughs> heck you. 
No, you piece of shit. Please don't. Okay, well, kill me at least. Let's go. First time embered. Three tries? Ugh, greedy, but it worked. I had to go for that last hit. I was worried I wasn't going to get the heal off, Scarlet. You're right. It was very greedy. The last hit was. I was scared. <laughs> Sorry for the scare. Uh huh. Sure, Robo Knight. Ugh. Guess that means I can work under pressure. Let's go. <laughs> Yay! I was finally able to show what raiders are left that I actually can play the damn game. And I don't just die to shitty enemies. Affliction, I love that tour. That is probably OMS's favorite, uh, favorite emotes. Did I hear sex scenes? What, Vivi? <laughs> I'm so confused. Uh, is gonna be when it actually is finished? That's true, it's early access. I forgot about that. Robo Knight, thank you for the scream bits and thank you for the 10 random bits. I appreciate it. Oh, it doesn't matter. We just killed Champion Gundir and three tries on SL1. Very fucking nice. Oh, let's go. That one felt good. I actually don't struggle with him normally, but yet again, SL1 is a lot different, so I wasn't sure how it was going to go. Very nice, very nice. Oh, you know what I'm gonna die to? I may not have died to Gundir. I'm gonna die to the stupid Black Knight up here. <laughs> I would bet money on it. Champion Gundir is actually a really epic boss because a lot of people run, like, come to him and they're like, oh, they actually used a repeat of a boss in this game, but then he just straight wrecks you and you're like, oh shit, son. Because the lore behind Champion Gundir is really interesting too. He was actually meant to link the fires, but when he got to the fire, it was too late in his universe. The fire had already burned out. So it's really interesting. He was actually supposed to be strong enough to link the flames, but he was too late. So I think that's pretty cool. It means he was another of the champions to light the fires. So you would have had to have fought him essentially as well. So. All right, I'm more scared of this guy than I was scared of the boss. I'm not gonna lie to you. Thank you again, Robo Knight, for the pits. I appreciate it. Okay, one's dead. There's another one. I'm just gonna let you walk that way. I don't want to go anywhere near you. <laughs> I hate the Black Knights, dude. They honestly just wreck my shit in every Souls game. They're pre I forgot there was one back here, too. Push him off the map. Yes! Get wrecked, bitch. Oh, that's a feels good. What's the Hornet Ring do? Boost critical attack. Probably wouldn't be that bad. Wait, you can't play anymore? What do you- wait, what do you mean, Celestria? That is true, Carmela is sending, I guess, though. Vippy, you're not allowed to listen to what I'm saying. I don't want to spoil things for you. Like, everything that I'm talking about has been very spoilerish. To move sets, to bosses and boss names. I don't think there was anything up here. I know you can get the eyes. That's the reason why I didn't go for that ending. It's for stabby players. That's very true. I think I've used the Hornet Ring a couple times, but not very often. I usually have a very specific set of rings I use, but this build in particular, I uh, 
I needed to change that. Ah, ye old coiled sword. Thank you. Fast travel everywhere. I thought it still said the same names, but I wasn't positive. I wonder why Ludlith isn't here then. Oh, that's weird, Celestrea. What about just restarting your uh, your machine? Well, fancy that. Hi, Emma. A lost lamb wandereth in with nary a peep from the bell. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? So there's, I think I remember reading that's very, there's very interesting dialogue. If you were to kill this Emma, this shrine maiden, and you give those ashes to the other shrine maiden, you get some really interesting dialogue. Also, Artorius is that is here. I think it's interesting that they don't actually call it Artorius is that. Take it just because I can. Just because I have the money. To skirt the curse's grasp. Tarry not for long, tis dark for now, and not a soul stirs. But remember, fires are known to fade in quiet. Or perhaps that captive already. Like the poor girl. <laughs> I actually don't know who she's talking about right there. Interesting. Anyway. Poor Andre. Actually, she was probably talking about the, uh, the person here. Who have never used a command the inter uh, command line interface before? I have, but whenever I was younger, I mean, there's not really much of a reason to use them nowadays. Ah, uh, boop. Yeah, I would say just restart the, the system and it probably will work well. All right. Oh wait, can I still transpose? Last time I tried to do this, my game was bugged and I couldn't. See, that's interesting. I can't even use this sword, which makes me so sad. It's my favorite in the game. <coughs> Pardon me. Look on to yourself and... Yeah, that sounds like a terrible idea. Let's not do that. Mr. Sir, 1972. Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Time for Nameless. Definitely not going to happen tonight. Um... I'll see if I can do Ancient Wyvern real fast, because we're already at five hours. Oh, Jesus, I forgot I started late tonight. Fuck. <sighs> I forgot I started late tonight. I need to go unlock um, our Dragon Peak, actually. I don't have it yet, because we just got the thing for it. But I forgot where I needed to go. There. I think I remember how to get there quickly. I think I do. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. But Mr. Sir, thank you again. Appreciate you. Hope you enjoy your time here. Yeah. Never came back and got these or what's her nuts out of the thing. Hello, bitch. Thank you, fart box. Dude, everybody loves my hat. <laughs> if they don't say anything else to me, about me, or anything else, they will always comment on the hat. I think I made a good design choice here. 
I tend to pick kind of silly things in games. Some people get triggered by that because it's just like, but you can't see their face during cutscenes and stuff of that nature. But like Ghost of Tsushima was a great example. As soon as I found a basket that I could wear on my head, that's all I use for the rest of the game. That and a towel. <laughs> so I tend to choose kind of stupid stuff. But in the Dark Souls game specifically, some of these don't really give you a whole lot of protection anyway. And so it doesn't really matter if you don't use like specific stuff for protection. I was a nice ice princess for most of my run. Exactly, dude. It's, it's fashion souls for a reason, Opecmon. Also, that's what I usually use is their mask. I love their mask. But this hat's just kind of iconic at this point on the run, so we're just gonna keep keep using our lovely hat here. God, that thing is ugly. Ah, oh, I forgot there was one on this side. They just shot poop at me. What dicks? All right. Mm-hmm. Silverleaf, how are you doing? Also, why is that now a tiger? <laughs> Poop dicks. Is that what they are? <laughs> kind of. They may have some dicks mixed in. They're a cage of humans, after all. All right. <laughs> I forgot about Patches Squat. Path of the Dragon. <laughs> it even looks cooler with our hat, dude. Awesome. I got you, Silverleaf. That's got to be a lot to think of. I hope whatever happens, you uh, go the right direction and the right route that you're needing to. Uh, Sunflower, so kind of, that's part of the hat. I don't get a chance to change that in this instance, but yes, that's part of the hat setup. Is like a Plague Doctors kind of look. Of course, I'm always in your corner, Silverleaf. Also, still, if you uh, if you do really need me to uh, look over your, your uh, resume, let me know. I, I'm more than happy to take a look at it. Maybe I should have put the hornet's ring on. Ah, dang it. Didn't get him that time. Dark Souls has such cool character design. <laughs> One of my first deaths I ever got in Dark Souls 3 in terms of elevators was this elevator over here. This is a shortcut. But what was funny is I was running from these guys shooting flames at me. And I didn't realize there was nothing there, so I just ran in that doorway trying to hide from the fireballs and immediately died and lost like 60,000 souls or something. It sucked. I could see that. Are you really? Well, good luck, Silverleaf. Yeah, send it my way. Um, just shoot it through Discord or whatever the case may, may be. I wouldn't mind taking a look at it for you at all. Ow, holy shit, that does a lot of damage. I was gonna say, can I get one of them to aggro me down here, please? SL1 makes this spot a little bit harder because they do a lot of damage. Hello, Thur. Can you come here? Thank you. I thought 
I was gonna give me the backstab. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. God damn it, dude. <laughs> Ugh. I could have just tried to run to the bonfire, but I really didn't want to. Because I thought I was gonna die either way. There goes my ember. I gotta capitalize on that. Oh, good old Blight Town, man. Yeah, I'm in the camp of Blight Town sucks ass. Like, there's some areas in games where I'm like, it's not that bad. People just complain about it, but no, Blight Town can suck a dick. As far as I'm concerned. And I don't even want to know how it was back, whatever people told me that, like, the frames were broken on it. Just no way. Because I play, I didn't play Dark Souls 1 until long after. Actually, my first play of, my pr first playthrough of Dark Souls 1 is on the uh, YouTube VODs, so. Bob Weep, Bob Weep, Bob Weep, Bob Weep, Bob Weep, Bob Weep! Bob Weep, Bob Weep, Bob Weep! Touch the fire, bitch! Touch the fire! Ha <laughs> Fuck you, bitches! I don't care if I die now! I got the bonfire. Don't care. <laughs> don't care. Kind of, Sky Shadow. Kind of. Have I listened to the Blight Town song yet? No, Caramelized Onion. Please enlighten me. Throw that shit in Discord and I'll take a look at it later. I'm assuming it's a song that talks about all the amazing things that is Blight Town. I'm sure it does. I kind of still want to get that item right there because I'm greedy. Okay, thank you. I don't think I've seen that one though. Like, I've, I haven't listened to all the parody, like if there's a song, but like watching YouTube videos of parodies, I've seen plenty of those ones. All right, we're gonna try this once and see how it goes. Please don't kill me immediately. Oh, wow, he almost did, actually. I couldn't even get past him. All right, correction. We're trying him twice. Ugh, I don't have as much stamina to run. Because normally I have enough stamina to literally sprint that entire thing. Hi, there's an ember. <laughs> nice. Yeah, normally I have enough uh, stamina to just completely sprint past that, but since uh, my character's not built that way, because I can't build him that way, there's a reason why. Hmm? What are you talking about, this all? Aw, sorry, Celestrea. I did that a bunch whenever I was watching KJ one day. I got the so, so many dumb ways to die song stuck in my head at the moment. Okay, that good, that got me the good RNG. For now. Are you kidding me? Heck you, game. Are they really all following me?
All right, another one down. <laughs> and another one down, and another one down, and another one bites the dust. That seemed really easy. Not if you don't know how to do that the first time you play it. I now understand why you were sprinting around, yeah. It's a very specific, like you don't have to beat him that way, actually. You don't, you can, you can actually fight him quote unquote the normal way, but I don't know why anybody would. Hi, Neil, how are you doing? I just rage quit this game. Where did you rage quit? And is now a bad time to tell you that I just beat the game with never leveling up my character? <laughs> Sorry, I can't help it, I'm an asshole, okay. Boom, we got our ember back. We actually got an extra ember, and that is gonna have to be we do it tonight. Oh, the old demon king? Did you go down to fight him? What other bosses have you fought right around there? Because honestly, old demon king, I usually leave for a little bit later. Hope you're doing well though, Neil. It's good to see you. The damn so many dumb ways to die song is stuck in my head right now. Such a good one. I was getting hit through stuff, plus I was getting one shot. Uh, you might be too low of an area uh, level for that area then. Honestly, he can one shot, but he doesn't typically one shot. So it is very possible you might have been too low level to be there at the moment. So I am sorry. Hopefully you go back to it at some point because quite frankly, it is still a really awesome game, but I completely understand if it is not your cup of tea and you don't want to keep fighting it. Uh, boom. Sorry, just trying to fill fill time so I could get another thing on. Holy crap, guys. Holy shit. I did it. I did it. I am so freaking happy. I did it, chat. I did it. Okay. I wasn't following that because I'm an asshole. Now I am. I did it. I did it, chats. Sorry, I'm tooting my own horn for a second because I'm just happy that I was actually able to beat the game any percent. DL, D, blah. Dark Souls 3, SL1, any percent, officially beat. I was here. You were here for this. You were here for this. You guys were all here for this. Um, I'm really proud. That's probably one of the most epic gaming moments I can throw in the book now because I've never done challenge runs before. So, uh, being able to actually complete it feels incredible. It took a long time on that last boss, but God, when I actually did fi finish it, I mean, you guys saw the raw emotion that was me for like five plus minutes. I, I was so happy. So that was really cool. Um, <laughs> DLC time now. I love the DLCs, Neil. I actually really do. I love the DLCs. Gonna go out back after a break. And that's a smart thing to do. Sometimes you need to. I did. I beat Soul Ascender tonight. So I officially, officially did it. Um, it took many, 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 many attempts on Soul of Cinder, but God, what a feeling. And then we actually beat Gundyr really fast, Ancient Dragon, obviously, nothing big there. And then uh, um, Osiris took us like, eh, like nine, 10 tries. That took us a little bit, but I don't know that I'm going to move the DLCs on the stream. I might actually just save that and play it myself offline. I haven't decided. This was originally supposed to be the end of the challenge run is when I beat the Soul of Cinder. So maybe it'll reappear on stream. I haven't decided. But we do have a lot of other stuff going on this week. So uh, let me take a look at the schedule real fast. So, uh, off tomorrow, so I am off stream tomorrow, and then Thursday we're going to be doing a Lego building stream. I already showed a sneak peek of that to uh, you guys the other day. And then we're going to play Project Zomboid after the Lego is done. We are going to be starting a Nuzlocke challenge run on Friday. Not only is this a first blind playthrough, I've never played Gen 4 Pokemon. Uh, I have not played the new Brilliant Diamond, which is the one that we are doing the Nuzlocke of. And I have never done a Nuzlocke. So, the trifecta. <laughs> so we're going to be starting the uh, the Nuzlocke on Friday. So if you guys want to be here for that, I will be naming 
um, the Pokemon after people in chat, so that will be fun and entertaining and hopefully reel you guys in. So, no, Ray, you can't come in. I was going to raid you. No, that's not how that works. No, I literally have pulled you up. You were playing Wolf Among Us. You lovely lady, you. Gosh dang it. <laughs> I literally just pulled up your stream and I hadn't gotten a look to see if you were still playing. I just saw, okay, Ray's on and she's playing Wolf Among Us. Perfect. Oh, that's too funny. Well, we're talking about future plans here for a second. So we'll let you guys hold on and then you can double raid with us if you guys would like. But welcome in, lady. How are you doing? Thank you for getting that shout out. Before anybody goes anywhere, whether you go with the raid or not, please go do yourself a favor and check out Ray Eats Cookies. She is a wonderful variety content creator. And she just started The Wolf Among Us, which I know Scarlett, we have talked about before because um, GV really enjoyed it. And I have been wanting to play that game at some point. It's actually in my list of games to to throw on stream randomly at some point. So I, I literally was like, we need to go fast and we can go wherever you're going. <laughs> sounds good, sounds good. I literally just, uh, I beat the SL1 run of Dark Souls 3 tonight, which wasn't any percent. So I beat the, uh, the final boss of Dark Souls 3 tonight, which was amazing. And uh, we beat some, some, uh, some of the op optional bosses as well. So I'm pretty much on cloud nine right now. I am really proud that I was able to do it. So I'm kind of still just riding that high at the moment. So one million point redemption maybe for what the, the DLCs clips? A hit list? No. However, I wouldn't mind trying a deathless run of Dark Souls 3 in the future. I, I really am wanting to, uh, to try deathless. But sorry, welcome in Raiders. My name is CD. I'm a variety content creator as well, mostly focusing on a variety of first blind playthroughs. I play a lot of titles very similar to Ray. We have very similar interests in games and Wolf Among Us looks incredible. I've heard nothing but good things, but I know it's very story based. So I'm going to have to lurk on Ray during that playthrough because I won't get to see much. But You're hooked already. I've heard great, great, great things about it. So I'm really glad to hear that. Whoop, boop, boop. Sorry, Darren. That, okay. Well, that's awesome. What's up, hardcore gamer? It's good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. I'm not doing Deathless SL1, guys. Hell no. I'm literally going to do a Deathless run, but nothing involving SL1 again. Probably ever. <laughs> Get wrecked. <laughs> Let me have my SL1 run and just call it good there, okay? Okay. No hit SL1? No, definitely not. But thank you for the congrats. Thank you for the raid. And uh, let me find somebody else to uh, to move you guys on to here. Let's see here. <laughs> well, I have found somebody. And this is a random... <laughs> this will be a random raid. I looked over at my recommended channels and I shit you not, one person on there is playing Demon Souls with a bongo set. <laughs> we are 100% raiding this person. I do not know them. Uh, occasionally it's nice to do a random raid, but I literally kid you not, I looked over at my recommended and it said that this guy is playing <laughs> Demon Souls with a DK bongo set from the GameCube. So I'm assuming they're modded, and uh, yep, I'm literally seeing them. Yeah, all right, that's exactly what we're doing. What's up, Splenda and Ablinda? I like your name. Double the raid, double the fun. Yes, uh, Ray's people can also post her her stuff too. I'm completely cool with that. Thank you again, Ray, for the raid. I'm so sorry I'm ending. Um, but you guys are more than welcome to follow if you think this channel will be good for you. Um, my people, make sure you go follow Ray Eats Cookies because she is wonderful. And let me queue up this raid. Uh, oh, real fast, I also wanted to thank our other raids because we had quite a few tonight. So thank you so much to Fat Rabbit, I'm Cataclysm, 9 of 8, Monozaki, 
and uh, Ray Eats Cookies for those raids. I really appreciate you guys bringing your communities over here. Hopefully they enjoyed and I lived up to expectations. Thank you for the follows, the gifted subs, the bits. Thank you for being here with me during the SL1 run. It was a very hard run and I am just super, super, super thrilled to have uh, been able to complete it. So we are going to check out this guy. His name is Thormengander. Thormengander, I think is his name. Uh, but he is literally playing uh, Demon Souls on the... Oh, hang on one second. I'm going to cancel this for just a second. He just went on break. <laughs> Give us like two more seconds. I think he just went on a break for like a moment. So we'll raid right after that. Um, but he's playing Demon Souls on the PS5. So just a heads up. Uh, if you aren't wanting to see any spoilers to Demon Souls for the PS5, uh, you may want to get out of that. But I will wait one more second. So I'll stick around for the raid because I'm an asshole. You're not an asshole. <laughs> Ray raid messages. If you guys haven't seen them, check online for a guy who's beaten Souls games with the most insanely common. Yes, that guy was incredible, Acel. I ended up watching the Ice Cube one. It was incredible. So Ray, Demon Souls is really interesting because, so From Software used to make a lot of other games, like early on in like PS1, PS2 days, those games were called Kingsfield and, Ray, and, uh, and Shadow Tower. And their first Souls game was actually Demon Souls. It's largely forgotten because it was a PS3 exclusive game. So PS3 Demon Souls came out in 2008? Am I saying that right? Hang on. Gotta fact check myself here. 2009. 2009, sorry. So it was one year off. So Demon Souls actually came out as a PS3 exclusive in 2009. And to be honest, they had some good ideas, but it wasn't until Dark Souls 1 that the series really took off. And part of it is because it was no longer an exclusive, Part of it is that they reworked quite a few things. There was a lot of things about Demon Souls that was very groundbreaking, but also very game breaking. And so, yeah, Demon Souls is actually the first. Now, the lore I will let you guys know is not the same lore as Dark Souls. So just a heads up, it's not the same. Uh, there is a couple things that tie them together, but other than that, they are completely separate. So, yeah. And Demon's Souls is remake that came out on the PS5. Chef Kiffs is a game. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous game. So uh, if you guys want to check out what the game looks like, please go help me raid this new person named Thorman Gander. Like I said, they are playing Demon's Souls on the PS5 and they're playing with bongo drums. So if you guys want to head over with me, I'd really appreciate it. I'm sure that would make him feel great about his night and uh, I'm curious to see him play with some bongo drums. So I'll be honest with you, Ray, if you do ever start the Dark Souls games, start with one. Or if you only ever, 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 ever think you're going to play one Dark Souls game, play Dark Souls 3. It's the smoothest experience and ultimately, in my opinion, has the best variety of bosses. So, okay, guys. Woo! Long-winded explanations, all that good jazz. Thank you once again, seriously, for being here, whether you lurked, chit-chatted, supported, or anything in between. Thank you to the content creators who decided to raid our channel. I really appreciate it. Let's go check out Thorm and Gander. I'll be back on Thursday with a Lego build and Project Zomboid. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever it is where you guys are, and I will catch you guys on the next stream. Have a good night.